press the button a little late. Okay. Well, genuinely speaking, I have an ad. What? I have an ad. Yeah. How do you have an ad? I don't know. Wow. I can't believe Gaijin doesn't support the channel. Oh, put me on the cross, Mark. Just get it over with. Bro, what? You don't, you don't, you don't subscribe to Turbo. Why don't you got Turbo, bro? You don't subscribe. No, I don't. Don't you I have don't. an Amazon account? What is your Prime subscription to the? I Amazon don't actually. Account? There's a lot of things I don't have. That's pretty smart, actually. <sighs> oh, good on you. I and can't it, believe you don't support the channel by popping out the mini player and then muting the mainstream and then unmuting the mini player. <laughs> <laughs> That's true support right there. Shh. Wow. Yeah, it's a good thing nobody does that. <laughs> no one. Absolutely I'm, no one. I'm winking. I'm winking. You can't see it. <laughs> I, I feel the wink. Feel the hey, blood. everyone. Welcome back to Unexpectables. <laughs> Da, da, da. Your vowels. <laughs> oh, we got a hype train. Yay! Oh, I, oh, I should buy a train whistle. I was at a at that little train shop recently, and I saw a train whistle. I'm like, oh, I should get that for whenever there's a hype train. Yeah. <gasps> also, killer, killer chance you have to remember that one. <laughs> what? Hello, guys, oh. gals, and non-binary pals. Like, it yeah, rhymes with cute and, like... Because, yeah. I, like, I always open up videos and streams of stuff like, hey, everyone, or something like that. And it's like, I, I kind of want to spice that up a little bit, but I also want to be inclusive, and that that's cute. Oh, my goodness. I, Ma Monty, I, I got you. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I, I was about to say, Monty, I got you your train sound effect. Hold on, here's the Foley. <laughs> You're peeking, Discord buddy. No. <laughs> Discord yeah, said I no. I not want you to have it. God fucking damn, I hate this platform. It is too loud, <laughs> Discord said no. I fuck, fuck off. I, I I actually have physical props in the fucking stream, and the Discord says no, fuck off. Sorry. You'll have Let's to see. appeal to the god of chaos. We hear Dang it. it. Which one? Exactly. But anyway, Mark, you were saying? Oh, I was going to say, I stole my intro from Eddie Izzard, because I always say... Uh, hello, ladies and jelly spoons, boys, girls, and everything in between. See, I do part of that. <laughs> I, I could open... Does anyone remember uh, Camp Chaos cartoons with Napster Bad? I don't. That no. sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't know if anyone else... If anyone else on the chat knows what I'm talking about, where Lars Ulrich and, and fucking James Hatfield were just like creepy 90s cartoon versions of themselves and Ulrich just constantly like said the most heinous shit about how they're gonna like destroy Napster because it keeps stealing their music <laughs> huh you know that was a long time ago though because Napster was relevant oh yeah guys right. remember Livewire oh my god no I don't <laughs> no but my high school laptop does <laughs> <laughs> okay Oz Oz 195 exactly knows what I'm talking about thank god I'm not insane James Hetfield is a creepy 90s cartoon. Anyway, we should do our introductions. Oh, we should speak of creepy. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Uh, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Whoa, start off with me first. Uh, if I'm a touch of CV slash Gaijin Goomba, uh, you can find me on YouTube doing my weeb analysis stuff. And you can occasionally find me posting uh, homebrew races over at DMs Guild. Uh, be sure to go check that out. Thank you for everyone who uh, checked out the Oni Race for a while, from a while ago. It's still selling, surprisingly. Uh, let's see. Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. What am I doing? Uh, I started playing Dawn of War Dark Crusade. That was an experience. Um, with uh, Sunbreak coming out, I'm probably going to jump in on that. I'm actually not super hyped for it. I'm just kind of middling with it. Uh, but, oh, God, what was the name of that game? It was like white something neon white neon yeah. white yeah neon white i was looking at neon white like mm, that looks tasty uh but yeah I'll, I'll be probably looking at those i have uh lots of models to build i have what do i have a lot of models to build uh taiko streams are officially a thing so there will be more of that uh currently i am working on a very down-to-earth very personal video uh on why it feels like for those of us who have lived in japan or are living in japan we just keep getting left out of everything that probably won't apply to most anyone in here but if you think it does it will be worth a watch 
God, I do too many things. <laughs> you you cover quite a bit of ground. Oh, uh, too much. I'm not specialized. I'm not niche. And speaking, speaking of covering things, Mark Allen Jr., we're going to find you. And what are you up to? I was really hoping you were going to say, speaking of specialized, you can find me <laughs> here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming over on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Um, I am still working on unpacking my apartment. I'm trying to solve an issue wherein I no longer have a recording booth that I used to have. Um, and I'm trying to figure that out, and I've got a whole lot of stuff going on, which means streams haven't happened yet, as those of you who follow my channel might have noticed. Um, I'm going to try tentatively next week. Tentatively next week, we'll get back to streaming. I apologize. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. I do really appreciate it. Also, really appreciate the, uh, the poll in chat right now. Um, I don't think Sylveon is on the table, folks, but... Good on you for remembering that I like Sylveon. Um, is Sylveon your favorite Pokemon or your favorite evolution? Uh, both. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Alakazam used to be my favorite Pokemon, but Sylveon slowly overtook him and then kicked him to the curb. Sylveon's pretty good. It's very cute. Um, yeah, that's about <laughs> it for right now. I've got, I did a bunch of late announcements for roles in anime and stuff this past week, so follow me on Twitter if you're interested in that. More stuff coming up soon. Every time the comic of Ishkan throwing the bow comes up, it <laughs> makes me laugh every single we time. Love, just his big, you fan artists. big dinosaur face one. smiling. I love that one. Also, no one held their promise to draw like buff uh, outsider at all. Where's the uh, ass, chat? Stupid, sexy <laughs> outsider. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing Am I? At all. Please tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see. Can't uh, see, but you can feel the clothing on your skin, can't you? No. <laughs> I lost the feeling in my ass years ago. <laughs> I ha I can't feel. <laughs> I don't Aww. wish to talk about it. <laughs> uh, quickly becoming Sap Brannigan. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the feeling in my ass years Give. ago. Give. Find me my non-feeling pants. <laughs> Here you are, sir. Zito, where can he find you? <laughs> I tried to follow that up with something D&D related. I'm sorry, and I got sidetracked. <laughs> if bring me my deck of many things. <sighs> Here you are, okay. sir. Mm. <laughs> okay, uh... You know where to find me, twitch.tv slash Zito. Indie games happen, art happens, character design happens. Uh, talking about Spelljammer and possibly making a new book for DMs Guild happens. Uh, my Patreon is still there. Uh, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from it, uh, at least for one month, because my birthday's coming up very soon on the 18th. Uh, but the bigger news is, forget all of that. What, what's more important is Cobalt 2. Cobalt 2. Cobalt <gasps> 2. I'm po oh. I posted it. I'm posting it oh. in chat right now. Cobalt 2. Get hype. It's happening very soon. Did you not? Do you have the first one or missed out on the first one? Don't worry. Cobalt 2 is happening. Get out. Oh. Oh. Check it out for later. Two. Tell your friends. It's happening very soon. It's happening. Yeah, I, I made a funny little ship post video uh, showing it as well, which might go a little bit with the reason why I'm talking about Spelljammer. Hmm. Hmm. That's that's me. If bring me the deck of many things. What does the void mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank merciful heaven, I'm free. I'm the captain now. Finally. Uh, <laughs> Bosco, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Time! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. New world record. All right. And Monty, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will be more Dungeons of the Mad Mage. Oh boy, are they in the thick of it. 
Uh, we have two new players who've just joined the cast, including, hey, Bosco. 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 Hey, hey Bosco. It's okay, Monty. I care. No, no, no. No, Bosco needs to know this. Bosco. <laughs> Bosco. Come on. What? Bosco. What? Are you, what? Jesus Christ, what? <laughs> A man Zan just is, died. What do you want? <laughs> Zan, is, Zan is in the party. What party? The, the our, my dungeon, the Mad Mage, Mage game on Focus. Thursday. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God damn it! That was not the reaction I, I was expecting. I told you he, he doesn't care. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, we have Zan joining us as well as uh, Level One Evie, uh, and they we have a cleric and a fighter respectively, um, and they also have a mule, which is suspicious as fuck. But uh, it's really really fun. Um, I actually uploaded the most recent episode to check that out, and then on Sunday. I'm playing Majora's Mask. It is really good so far. I got through the wood temple, the Ooh. grass temple, whatever the first temple is. Um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 way different than Oc Ocarina. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Much different. And a little bit more tight, and I like the characters a lot more. There's a lot more characterization and a lot more atmosphere. So I like it a lot. Well, I um, hope you're ready for more nightmares than Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of nightmares. <laughs> um, I'm currently at... No point like the Goron area, yeah, but it's a really really good time. I'm also uploading that to YouTube as well, so expect an episode up pretty soon. Um, also, want to give a shout out to Matthew Mercer. It's his birthday today, so happy yeah. birthday, Matthew! Oh, Mercer. Shit. Happy birthday! Yeah. Watch so out for pool noodles. Yeah, happy birthday, Matthew Mercer. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you one day. <laughs> no, oh shit! I want to watch that. I will. You know, All right, clip it, happen, clip right? it, so we have it for <laughs> no! future reference. Creator clip Clash it. Two is coming up, Monty. I think you can. Oh take my them. god! I don't think I can fight. Oh my god! Until I need a fruit with the skin on, because that seems to be like a rite of passage. <laughs> is Monty like versus I, we'll get I just, to train you. <laughs> I just want. Sure, okay. <laughs> I want. I want the Creator Clash Two to happen, and it's Monty versus Matt. And Monty throws a single punch <laughs> that, like, sort of makes her glove go concave. <laughs> <laughs> and then Matt throws a punch, and Monty shatters on impact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just, it's it's like a PNG shatter. file that just breaks apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, full win broken window effect. We all know that's how it would go, like, legitimately. <laughs> if I were ever in a fight, someone would just hit me in the ribs, and it would just concave inwards, and I'd just become a snail person. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that is it for me, so. <sighs> all right. Uh, well, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and the thing just refreshed again. Cool. Oh, no. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I, I played Dead House Sonata demo yesterday. Oh, shit. Pretty, pretty nuts. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had like 80 people in there watching. I, I, oh, wow. I hope it got some people interested in the, the game where you play the dead to fight the living. Uh, if you want to find out more about the game, be sure to either you can look over that VOD or you can uh, check out their website, go to their Discord, uh, join the forums. They've got polls and stuff and, and weekly streams. I believe they just had their their monthly stream uh, earlier today, actually. Mm. Uh, mm. Updates about the game. But yes. Um, brain is... Farting. Also, check out my uh, DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content as well. Uh, the Treasure Hunter Conclave Ranger uh, is going to be my next subclass. It's uh specializes in spelunking and... Uh, oh, that's cool. Getting Good. benefits getting benefits when you equip yourself with magical items. Hmm. We do like yeah. caves in these parts. <laughs> Sort of a mixture of like a, a little bit of a roguey artificer ish sort of subclass. It'll be cool. A artificer. Uh, a artificer. Arr. Uh, arr. Uh, but yes, uh, that'll be happening soon. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, be sure to check out our wonderful sponsor for this evening's <gasps> escapades. Die Hard Dice. Oh. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for both dice and dice accessories. Quality. God. Thong. Indeed. <laughs> if you would like a discount, all you need to do is type in the code UNEXPECTABLES! Uh, 
to save 10% on your order when you order from dieharddice.com. They've teased some new dice. I don't know if they're released yet, but they teased some on their Twitter recently, and I'm excited. Oh, yeah. It's still Pride. Uh, so get yourself a hold of some gay dice. That's right, gay dice. Uh, I believe it should be on sale right now. I if think. there's any They've left, got... they sold out quite a bit of dice mm, sets, but there is... They also know. released a, a new uh, Pride set, which looks really cool. Ooh. All yeah. hail Diana. <laughs> yes. Diana, let her let her influence make the rolls twenties. Can we get her a T-shirt that says Diana? We're sorry. But spelled. <laughs> that says we're sorry. <laughs> that needs to be a cake. Yeah, it's, that's a cake. If we ever if we ever have to go to like a diehard dice like meeting thing, like a like a co conference or something, we're gonna get her like a Dairy Queen ice cream that, that says we're really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about everything, the yeah. unexpectables. Uh we, we love Diana though, she's fantastic. And Diehard Dice treats us very, very well and they lovingly support the show quite a bit. And if you if you buy dice, it supports us, which is fantastic. And you can feed Austin and also other things like art and music and right, yeah. you know all that cool fun stuff speaking of making things possible this show wouldn't be possible without uh viewers such as for public broadcasting and, <laughs> and like viewers you. like you <laughs> and i say hey what a wonderful <laughs> kind of day <laughs> we learn to run and play we're gonna get dmca it's other. too good no <laughs> we can't the show's DMCA. over oh uh Turias33, thank you for gifting five tier one subs to the community. Like Tabuya, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Killer Chansey. Uh, Jin no Kaze, thank you for the 27 months. Dr. Caliban, thank you for the two years. Uh, tastes. Uh, taste some. <laughs> taste some NyQuil, thank you for the prime sub for 10 months. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> terrible. <laughs> no, it thanks. tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like sleep. Uh, <laughs> Big Bad Shadow Man, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, 27 months and how do you do? Doing good. The the Seven, thank you for the six months. I've been watching live since the Elemental Planes arc. Uh, that was when I had actually money to subscribe. Ooh, been around for a while. The Spoonman, thank you for the 19 months. Getting close to the funny number 21. Also, I'm taking my girlfriend on my first big vacation to St. Louis. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Don't get lost. Yeah, hope you enjoy your trip to the Gateway to the West. Zebzebzebzebiel, uh, thank you for the 90 bits. Uh, last of my bits, have fun, y'all. Uh, Tommy Toon, thank you for the 100 bits. Let's hope the zombie wave defense time runs smoothly. Uh, Mild Seder, thank you for the 11 months. Time to catch the session live. Any hints as to Kai's class? No. Nope. Nice no. try. I think he's like a ranger or something? I don't know. Uh, too. Uh, I <laughs> think he's a. I think he's a cleric. I, I, I think he's a commoner. I believe he's a pachyderm. An ancient is extinct mammoth. No, a pachyderm yeah. is any. Keep going, Connor. Beast of you, have, you, have, you have seven minutes. <laughs> Bull honkinator, thank you for the four thousand bits. Holy crap! I managed to make it live for once. Love you guys. Been here since session oh. one of the first campaign. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Long time fan. Raw Sodium, thank you for the 100 bits. Catching up on Gateway, enjoying it so far, despite really not being a Fallout fan. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it despite that, because it's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Everyone knows the most gender neutral greeting is hello, friends and adversaries. <laughs> Indeed. It's not cute. That invites a lot of violence. I'm not sure. I, I like it. That. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Mighty, thank you for the 20 months. How's it going, everybody? Going pretty good. I don't know. It's all right, I guess. Ambiguity. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking, like, just the worst, like, YouTuber greetings. And I'm like, what would be the worst possible one? What's up, Target Practice? And I'm like, no, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I mean, really mean to say. Anyway, please continue. Sorry. What's up, everyone? I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Did Leave. I mean, Phil DeFranco does threaten to punch people in the throat if they don't subscribe, so mm. that seems to work for him. Defective Sheep, thank you for the 10 subs gifted to the community. Corin Solist, thank you for the 500 bits. 
Kuro Kami, thank you for the 21 months. First, the Owl House, now the Unexpectables. Hooray for awesome stories by awesome peoples. Uh, oh. Captain Thunderbolt, thank you for the 10 bits missed last week while vacationing in Alaska. Super <laughs> excited to jump back in. You see that? They got Woo. bears up there. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the <laughs> thank you for the 27 bits or 27 months rather. Old Beast Tamer, thank you for the eight months, eight months of sub, and I recently got engaged. Well, congratulations. Nice. Shay Daz, thank you for the 21 months. Hooray, 21 months. Uh, like to Booyah, thank you for giving a tier one sub to Pop Tart Depression. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Earliest Bread, thank you for the 27 months. Blamish, thank you for the six months. Soothes here, thank you for the nine months. Cord Solace, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, hit enter too soon. I got a new job two weeks ago and I handed my notice in last week. Nice. Hey, uh, uh, my last week, uh, my last crap customer support job have my severance package bits. Uh, Defang Shadow, thank you for the 10 months. Hey, y'all can't stay. I'm at Blood and Guts. Uh, we'll watch the VOD tomorrow. I hope no one dies. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, now it's going to happen. Uh, Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 <gasps> bits. Hi, Monty. Hi, Bipples. <laughs> Z, the mediocre, thank you for the 26 months. King Night Owl, thank you for the 21 months. 21. Uh, in Like Flynn, thank you for the sub. How did you uh, say that name? I ask, is, that, is that an Oban Star Racers reference? I have no idea. Because if it is, you're my favorite person in the world. Also, it's in like Flynn, uh, twenty thousand eighty-eight. So that's Aww. how. <laughs> uh, Goblet of fun making. Thank you for the twenty-seven months. I uh, didn't have work today, so I was able to play in my friend's session, and I'm happy to have energy to watch this whole episode. Goss twenty-one. Thank you for the ten bits. Yes, unexpectables. I miss this every week. By the way, Monty, uh, is the outsider dummy thick? <laughs> dream, dream, whatever <laughs> would make you content. You decide. Vote now on your phones. You might have stopped art. It's like the epic rap battles of victory. Who won? You decide! You decide! <laughs> Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 17 months. Oz195, thank you for the bit. Monty versus Matt in a bear suit. Oh, that changes things. Oh, oh shit. It does. <laughs> I might scream and run at him fast. <laughs> Watch out. And then get shattered into bits by a single bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Irish Katana, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Just donated blood today, and now I'm finishing up with you guys. Let's go. Hey, hey nice. nice. Kalen Rain Treat, thank you for the five bits. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's where people five need bits. It, not, don't want it. <laughs> you are all beautiful except you bosco you're adorable uh irish katana thank you for the 22 months timator thank you for the 25 months of prime subage uh help i've been stuck in a cardboard box for 25 months uh oh schrodinger more thrandor Sh schrodinger's uh timator <laughs> more thrandor thank you for the 14 months hope you have a great session today mythical things thank you for the 19 months the the seven. Thank you for the fifty five bits. What do you call a metal house buried beneath wood powder? Lead uh, house in sawdust. Uh, Minus two. I'll give you one single snap. Monty, can I use my soundboard just once? <laughs> <laughs> you already did. I'll let you one more time. <laughs> Ooh, right, this now put, man! Now put it away. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. The Drenger Roy, thank you for the 19 months. Are we doing Dead House Nada puns still? No. Miss Shot got Nada. <laughs> all right. You fired and you missed. All right, that's a zero. That's a zero. You got neutral ground on that one. <laughs> I had to put my soundboard away, but... Just know that I hit it in spite so I could hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dusty Bone, thank you for the 100 bits. Haven't been able to watch live in a hot minute. Just wanted you all to know that you've been a big inspiration for me, in particular with all the homebrew stuff. Uh, I've been brain vomiting out lately. Ooh, I'm so sorry. We call that thinking, <laughs> but that's good too. Uh, brain brain level brain one. <laughs> level one Eevee, thank you for the 11 months. Boop. 
I know that person. Quiet. Quietus Riotus, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, guys. <laughs> nice. Hope your game goes well. Uh, may Kai get his time to shine, and may Eastgan find some paper. Praise Diana. Just Neelin, thank you for the 525 bits. Was able to be a player in a one-shot, and I nat 20 killed the boss with my copper metal dice. Thanks, diehard dice. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, boy. Is it time to hunt down an Escarno? What is Escarno? What do you want now? It's escargo, but with a no in it. Ah. Oh. Escargo. It's orange. Oh, the, the oh, Kang Day to Day. I got bones <laughs> for you. <laughs> I need a snail to beat up that there cubby. Oh, sire, here's the femurs you asked for. Oh, oh that's good. good. That is a good impression. That's like, holy crap. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. I love doing this voice. <laughs> Put them on my back. I'm going to build a house. Oh, sire. Connor, you have four minutes. You might have to shoot uh, off names. Yeah, we we should be good if it's four minutes. Okay. Uh, do, Dusty Bone, thank you for the 18 months. 18 months, when did that happen? Berg Flax, thank you for the 20 bits. One bit for every month of therapy Diana is going to need after all of this. Oof. Krusty Diana's Star, thank you for the... She's scary. She's, oh, she's yeah. got like, she's got rough and tumble blood in her. Krusty Star, thank you for the eight months. Made toast just in case. They're not as good as Milo's Sky Toast. Uh, like right. Kaguya, think of 100 bits. You always promise to get Austin a better hamster cage or treats. I'm beginning to think you never actually plan to get in the hamster cage to live in at all. Fuck, he's <laughs> onto us. <laughs> no, we shit, do. Shit. It's this, the way that it works out is we have to buy the new one and then we can sell we, the old one. It's, okay, who yeah. forgot? He also, he, also, he also keeps chewing the bars to get out. We keep having to yeah. get a look, more look, secure we, one. Okay, one of, us, one of us here is going to make a Chewy account, but we haven't done so yet, and I don't know whose job it is anymore. In four minutes. Go. Cosmos is 45. Thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, Weed Pixie, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. I make things up. Thank you for the 26 months. Uh, Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 100 bits. Dip and Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Cosmos is 45, thank you for the 22 months of Prime Subbage. Uh, Darina Nash, thank you for the 500 bits. Weed Pixie, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, I make things up, thank you for gifting a tier one sub. Crabbiest the Great Crab Purr, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Deluna, 13, thank you for the 25 months. Bag of Holding, thank you for the 27 months. Weed Pixie, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Gladius Moonrise, thank you for the three months of Prime. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 21 months. Z on the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 20 bits. Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 26 months. Defective Sheep, thank you for the 500 bits. The Sun Toast, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, Kokorai, thank you for the 18 months. And Pseudonymic Fake Name, thank you for the 25 months. Perfect. Hey. Also, I just love the Caveman Monty. Books are expensive. <laughs> hard make. <laughs> it is. They're hard to make. <laughs> hard to make. Books are incredibly difficult to create. I'm not right. Eh. Right word. Long sentence. In history, they were so mm. expensive that you never actually stacked them on top of each other. You had to put them on shelves. Look, Monty, just it. have someone invent the printing press. Jeez. Oh, I'll Wrong get right life. on that. Sorry. I'll be the. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, back. Gaijin. I'll be the one to do it. <laughs> Start selling Alrighty. paperbacks. You just have to sew the pages together. Right, wife. All right, shush all you delinquents. I'm going to play the intro. We're going to get started. <laughs> okay. Bye, okay.
So when last we left our adventures, Otho, Kai, Milo Brightbeam, Gaius Agni, and Iskan Seat Lully. Success! The party has successfully delivered the Bead of Hoketh, a sacred relic of life, to Lynn, and participated in a ritual to allow Hoketh's will to reclaim the orb from the clutches of the undead god of Necrecta. With the first orb now secure in the hold, uh, with the first orb now secure, the hold on Eastonvale has lessened, and now the ever-present mist upon the ground has been lifted, and a sense of hope has been restored. Now, as dawn dawns, a full rested a full rest has visited the party's vitality, and our our, our adventurers rise in a new Eason Vale. <clears throat> so, all of you gain the benefits of a long rest. Yay! Hooray! <clears throat> And as you all kind of rise up, uh, would you guys have been keeping a watch? Just out of curiosity. Probably would have been smart, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't want any bone snails coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens at night. Nothing appears. Um, and as day comes, you all awaken. Each of you with your long rest. Lynn, this entire time, has been kind of staring outside of the window. Uh, Lynn, is something wrong? No. For the first time, no. <laughs> it's strange. I've waited so long for this. And to see it, it. She actually smiles. Is this a scary smile or? It's like <laughs> toothless smiling with the twitching of the corners, like she hasn't probably done it in a very long time. When you got resting, when, when you got resting, bitch face, but you kind of, but you're trying to smile genuinely. <laughs> but you're optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Len, I was wondering if maybe you could tell us where we might need to go next. I was waiting for the rest of you all to awaken, but it seems you all are awake now. Come, sit. At this point, you guys are in a different building. You're not in the building you defended because all the windows were shattered and, it, you know, very drafty. You guys have moved since back into the first building where you had first woken up, uh, which has now been actually situated with a table in the middle. Hmm. Did uh, when get this table? I moved it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in character, but cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's answering you, Mark Allen Jr. You directly. Um, there, there are chairs and stools of mismatched arrangements. Um, and as you kind of all sit down, she goes, you're willing to keep going. We come this far. <laughs> Looks around everyone else. I mean, Gaius is got. All right, uh, Gaius doesn't look like as chipper as he usually does. He looks like kind of like a little stone faced, like not smiling, but not like super upset. It's just like looks like contemplation while this is going on. I will confess to you that the more orbs you gather, the more dangerous it will be. Honestly, I'm surprised you weren't eaten alive on your way here. Wait, how many more orbs exactly do we have to get? I think three will do it. Three do more? To be done. Two more. You've gotten one. I need two more. Oh. Okay. You made it sound like there was more. There are. kind of <laughs> sighs a little bit. There are many beads. Well, the next bead, as I grab my notes. And Jesus was there. <laughs> oh my God. The next orb is in Martorallo. In the great port city, Martorallo.
it uh, is hmm? sorry i was gonna say as she says that um everyone will kind of blink and iskan has his map out <laughs> yes yeah it is to the south down the made trade road and she points if you take the southern road to Pulmonada and take the road towards the Sisters Bridge here, and she kind of points on the map, continue taking the southern road you want to take, there's that split. You'll want to take the road towards Orchard, but not turn off to Orchard. You're going to want to take the road forward going on until you hit the border. You mentioned the bead was in the city itself. It is not in the, it. She watches, she looks really tired and kind of sits on a chair. She goes, the orb was entrusted to a Hoketh cleric who uh, long ago worked aboard a ship called the Hesper's Wake. Would that sound familiar to me? Earl of history check. Very high DC for this. History chain. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Come on, roll 20. He's thinking about it. And I've clicked over to roll 20 this time, so let's go. It's really thinking about it. 17. <laughs> it's not a Sounds name good. of any famous ship that you know. It has since fallen into the use of uh, freelance sailors, to my knowledge. Um, a ship for hire, as it were. Uh, currently, it is under the jurisdiction of Oslamir Harland, Ocean Lord Oslamir Harland. And she kind of reaches into her robes and pulls out another sealed letter, and she goes... And she kind of puts it on the table and kind of slides it forward and goes... If you take this to Oslamir Harland, he'll relinquish the orb to you and you may return with it. I grab it immediately. Okay. Will we be accosted by another curse? I don't know. I'm surprised you were accosted the first time, but... She kind of looks out the window. This will not go unnoticed. Those who would seem as our enemies are going to be aware... And who exactly would that be? Agents of Necrecta, and I don't know how the smugglers in Eastonville are going to react. Kind of look towards Otho when she says that. I take it you've met some. Well, yes. they were kind of friendly, honestly. Some of them are. Gray Shroud. Some of them aren't. Yes, the Gray Shroud. They work for someone to the north, and I don't know who it is, but they are very much benefiting from the state that Easton Vale is currently in. I don't think they're responsible for the state that Easton Vale is in, but children don't particularly like it when their toys are taken away, so. <laughs> Apropos. Mm. Though I would be very curious to see what their current state of mind would be. At the same time, I may recommend you keep your association with me in your lungs or in your chest, if that makes sense. So you think the Grey Shroud has an interest in the Orb of Necrecta? I don't think they have any interest in any of the machinations of Necrecta nor Hoketh. I think they're interested in keeping the little smugglers' dens safe from outpeering eyes. A bounty hunter cannot make his way through here very easily, but a group of smugglers certainly can. They have the numbers and the desperation where others lack. I mean, you say it like that, but when we went to Pulmonada, the uh, Grey Shroud that we met, they were long gone. We weren't sure if they were killed or moved on. Not that it matters much. But I think mm. it matters a lot, actually. Milo frowns at that. Jeez. We kind of got a lot of information from them last time. And that is what is what's most important. If you can gain information from these individuals, gain as much as you can. But again, I would not reveal your intentions. What we are doing here is good. It is good things, but 
this person they work for, or persons, I'm not sure, are definitely vultures reaping the benefits of Eastonvale being under the yoke of this curse. How did Oslamir Harland come into possession of this bead? He didn't. It belonged to a Hoketh cleric. They became a ship doctor and eventually <clears throat> passed, as we all do. And must have put it in the figurehead of the ship, is what I've heard. Oh my god, it's the One Piece. Ah, damn. <laughs> Dream and don't give it up. Oh, so <laughs> wait. So let, let me let me get this right. So he put the bead of Holketh in the figurehead of his ship at the front of it. Yeah. Milo's just got the the freaking equations like just going <laughs> on around his head. Would that not be the best way to uh, bless a ship? I mean, if it's cursed. Well, I don't think it was cursed before. Would it not be cursed now? That's for yeah. you to find out. Looks over to Gaia. Gaia guys, oh, oh, I'm falling in my accent. This, this might mean we, we're coming across a ghost ship. If worse comes to worse. Hmm. Gaius is, like, unperturbed by that, actually. A little bit more stoned uh, than than before. Okay. But I, I'm, not, I'm not shitting on what you're trying to say to Gaius. No, it's just no, that, it's it, fine. It, there, there's something brewing in the back of this boy's head right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting Sea of Thieves flashbacks, so, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that being said, the road from here to Martorallo is not a safe one. As to be expected. Do you have any questions? I'd rather not prattle off information that is irrelevant to you. There's bandit activity increased on the roads. There is. Goblins and ogres, I've been told many times. Otho looks down at the floor. Oh, so you're right. Um, if we see any bandits on the road, we should run from them. Why do you say that? We don't want to deal with their yoke. But again, we already have. And we were fine. Not these. Not these. Please just trust me. Uh, I beg you. Well, then you're going to have to point us out to these bandits that uh, got you so spooked. We should just be careful on the roads. Hmm. May we incite you? Yeah, I was about sure. to say. Go for it. Okay. 18. Nope, I'm too busy thinking about stuff. <laughs> you are horror fighting a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh uh, no, I, I, got, just... I got a dour question to ask, but that's at the end of all of this. Uh, deception check from Otho. Uh, just trying to maintain his composure. Training Curses. Right That's some composure. That's a good roll. He seems like he, whatever, whatever this is, he really does not seem like he wants to deal with these mm -hmm. bandits. All right, Otho. And... Whatever happens, we are not going to grim bones. Um, oh, I, I'd have to ask, what is that? 
I was gonna ask is if if that's a place is that a place that any of us would have heard of? No, none of you would have heard of this place. Any more questions? Well, I, I actually was asking, like, guys was asking, uh, Otho. Oh. Like, well, it's, if you've oh. given us a name, you obviously have some sort of history. What is this place that we should avoid? Uh, Otho sags a little bit. He looks like he's about to be sick. How about we stop asking Otho the questions and we ask the powerful, like, wizard lady questions about the bead that we're going to go get when we avoid all the orcs and the goblins? I'm a cleric, first of all, and second of all, thanks for calling me powerful, but I think that's a bit of a grandiose statement. I appreciate it. <sighs> Truly, I do. However you get there, whatever you avoid is up to you. The important thing is to get to Martorallo in one piece and return in one piece. That's right. We should be quick about it. Do not be quick. Be smart about it. Speed is not our ally here. A calm mind must prevail. Speaking of, uh, Len, how many days travel do you think it might be? Oh, God. <laughs> you see her, like, thousand-yard <laughs> stare. <laughs> I thought it was a legit question. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just ballpark it. It's fine. Like a couple days, week, month. I would say to get to the border of Martorala will be about nine to ten days. Well, that's quite a ways. And then beyond that, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Brightbeam. I don't get out much. Rather, I've been trapped here for a year, and so I haven't really been to other countries that often. So. When she says yeah. Can I insight that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, she just said it. There's nothing really, oh, there's nothing God real sakes. intention to be insight. Okay. Really. She just kind of yeah, said it. The use of the word trapped is, is a thing. Yeah. Curious. So take that as you will because there's no hidden intention there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, for well, what it's worth, there are rules, but. Yeah. Uh, why do you say you're trapped here? You really haven't picked up on it, have you? The ghost hands? I don't have ghost hands, but I am No, dead, the ones across I? the border. Well, wait, yes, that. Sorry, wait, what did you just say? I was like you. I was dead once. Slow turn? Believe well, me, I'm as, as questioning as you are. But we're not, we're not trapped here. You're not. Probably because you are, you were only kind of dead and now you're fully alive. I was very dead and now I'm questionably alive. Most borders around Easton Vale has a very strict no undead allowed policy to which I cannot blame them. But that does make for uneasy travel for me. Wait, so y you're an undead? Mm -hmm. You see her face just kind of like <laughs> just kind of looks very discontented when you say that out loud. She goes never heard someone really say it clearly out loud before, but yes. I don't starts know. Just sort of looking at everybody at the table. <laughs> Guys, it's just like sags a little bit like I don't know if that makes my question any more selfish. Well, one way to find out, I suppose. Compensation. Oh, money. Oh, gods. Um. <laughs> well, she kind of looks you, around. Hmm. You mentioned that when, when we were successful, we would receive a gift. That was thank with you. all of them. Thank, that's thank with, you. That's with three orbs. I would give you a gift beyond your imagining, yes. But you're only one orb in. I glares at that. But in the meantime, you watch it. She kind of unlatches like a like what appears to be like a really nice kind of silvery gold necklace, like like bracelet with like emerald inlay. And she kind of places on the table and pushes it forward. She goes, "I'm sure that will trade for some money." 
Don't exactly keep coin on me. It weighs me down. Caius looks at, looks down at it, looks back at her. I honestly hope you don't believe that this is some way of strong arming you. No, but you do need money to live. And in truth, giving you this is an investment towards success for the future. Oh, thank God. At least I wasn't seeming like an asshole. He takes it. No. <laughs> he just picks it up like he's smiling now. He, he actually has like the dopey smile I usually has. Yeah. It's a very nice bracelet. Like it's it's like kind of has like a lock latch to it. So really, it tightens with sort of like a snapping thing. And the gemstones are very finely cut. It is a very nice piece. Oh, yeah. Putting that in the duffel bag. Let's go. Yeah. Add Lynn's emerald bracelet to your inventory. Lynn's emerald bracelet. In terms of rations, how are you holding out? Ten uh, days worth. I've got fourteen. Okay. If or by chance you're of any need of provisions, specifically food and water, though she looks over towards the bucket, I've learned that water is maybe not as big as a concern. She kind of points down on your map, Escan. This is the Sisters Bridge right here. The smugglers have a base there. They generally just let their own through, but they do sell basic provisions, usually for a very expensive price, but, well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. All right, is there anything else we need, everyone? Any other information for Matarallo as a place? Anything we should know? It is a very big city, from what I've been told. There are more people in Matarallo City than there are in the country outside of it. So it is a very large place. Mind your head, do not get robbed. Be careful on the roads. I want to go to this place. <laughs> what? Guys. What <laughs> Good. No, guy, guy, like, hearing all of this, just, like, the smiles back on guys just looks back at everyone else. I'm ready to go. I am, too. What about the rest of you? Pardon me, gentlemen, I'm going to go for a short walk. Uh, Otto stands up and he walks off. Otto, that's such a good idea. We don't know what's out there. Okay, there he goes. He's fine. Watch, He's watch fine. out for bone. <laughs> watch out for bone snails. I will. That being said, I am going to remain here, but if things get dodgy, I'm probably going to head east towards Gisby in case the smugglers come by looking for me or there anybody that. else for that matter. It is here. Sure, do it. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna let you guys handle the map stuff. I'll be right back. Hey, Otho, wait up! And Kai's gonna sprint off after him. Right there. Neato. Mm -hmm. All right, Kai, so, you run so out. I, I just want to double check one quick thing. I apologize. This is above game. She yeah. wants us to go south, but across the bridge and then south, or just completely no, south? No, straight completely south. south. The bridge, okay, the bridge, completely south. Okay. Yeah, the bridge is just a place if you need, like, resources and you are you have nowhere else to go, you can buy shit there from smugglers if you need to. But okay, okay, sick. Basically, she's like, how are you for food? Uh, we're okay. It's like, okay, if you ever need food, swing by there and you can buy it, but it's more expensive. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, but you guys will probably want to take the southern road. Like she mentioned, you want to go through mm -hmm. Pulmonada, head south, keep heading south, turn towards the road that goes to Orchard, and then don't turn off. Orchard. Don't go to Orchard. Keep yeah. going south. Yep. I wrote all that down, so yeah. okay. we have it. All right. Uh, Otho, you head outside, and you do see now the grass. It's green, which is interesting. The trees are green instead of this muted gray. You can see across towards the river that is rushing through the land, uh, as well as like the boats on the coast and remnants of who once lived here as you both run out kind of through the tall grass. Uh, Otho will get on his knees next to the river and he will take off his gloves and he will 
splash a couple handfuls of water into his own face. Okay. Weirdly, it's lukewarm. Ugh. Not cold. <laughs> yeah. Otho? Hi. Hi, sorry. No, I you're fine. You, I didn't want you to go alone and... Well, I saw the look on your face and I kind of figured you could use a chat. I just didn't think we'd be going back so soon. Kai's gonna get on his knees and hug you from behind. He sort of leans his head back in, into your shoulder. I'm, I, I saw you freeze up, and I've been worried about you ever since. Are you, are you doing okay? Are, are the nightmares back? Is it... Was it something I said? No. No, it was nothing you did little brother it's just when we're out here doing all this adventuring fighting the undead and monsters and all that is fine but those men those people who summoned that demon you see evil in a form that looks like yours what do you what do you do how can you even comprehend that beings that heinous can exist who were once just like you I every time I think of those bandits I see, I see that the corpses of the people who died trying to protect me, who died and failed, and... They didn't fail, you're still here. I'm still here because I bowed and I scraped like a coward for my life for six months. He's going to grab you by both of your shoulders now. You are not a coward. Look at me, Otho. You are not a coward. What happened to you isn't your fault, and what happened to them is not your fault. There were just some bad people in the world. People that did that, people that did this. And that's not your fault, okay? I just don't want anyone else. I don't want anyone else to suffer. We're gonna make sure they don't. We're gonna keep the guy safe on the road we see something that's not, well, I guess normal, or if we see any mercenaries, we'll just steer clear of them. We'll keep everybody okay. safe. Okay. Okay. But first, I need you to wipe those tears out of your eyes. Because they don't look good with green. And then I need you to brush your clothes off because it doesn't look good with dirt on them. Yes. <laughs> Maybe You're turning you into a slob. What are you, me? Uh, oh, don't you dare use that word with me, young man. Uh, have <laughs> you seen the way that I dress? The <laughs> the fresh out of the Explorer's Pack uh, special? <laughs> we 
we will have to try and find a better outfit f suitable for a uh, up and coming grand mage like yourself. <laughs> yeah, a grand mage with a grand total of zero spells. Actually, that reminds me. I had an idea. I think I can help Eastend. Well, I suppose you and Mr. Seat Lolly need to have a conversation. Right, but first I have to take you back to the camp. Let's kick up right. off the ground. All right. I love the rest you, of you guys. Brother. Love you too. As the rest of you guys make your way outside of basically Lynn's house, for lack of a better term, her little base of operations. Uh, you guys make your way outside, and she kind of gives you a nod and goes, Good luck. Thank you. One side question. Of course. Does that make us zombies after what you just did to us? No, you are not zombies. Oh, thank God. Like I said, you were only kind of dead. You were, like, asleep, but not really. It's complicated. Okay, good, because this is something I want to shove in my sister's face. Right. Listen, if you were undead, and she kind of leans towards you, Gaius, you would know. Well, best of luck. Again, if I'm not here head to Gisby. That's only if I'm found out. Don't tell any of the smugglers about what we're doing. Keep that on the down low. All right, all. Let's get going. I'll catch up in a moment. I just want to ask Lynn something. Oh, very well. But please make haste. I'd like to get some gainful employment. I'll be, I'll be right there. Don't worry. I just... <laughs> had a question regarding general situation. You guys head out. Otho, you walk up to Lynn and Lynn goes, you better not stab me or betray me right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he sort of smiles and shakes his head. No, no, I'm not that kind of man. I'd hope not. So, you mentioned that you were... You're fully brought back to life now, I guess. I don't know. Anything is a guess at this point. And you were dead. I was dead, yes. And how long ago was that, if you remember? I don't Not remember. To... I see. You don't exactly remember how long you've been dead, Otho. Fair enough. Fair point. If it eases your conscience, though. I woke up in Lisa's song. Lisa's? Lisa's slum? Lisa's song. Lisa Sam. That's right there, Lisa Sam. Lisa Sam. Would I know where that is? Um, no. <laughs> the broad side of no. <laughs> see. She sees your quizzical expression. And she goes, "It is a town very close to the capital. It I is, see. Has a very prevalent Hoketh temple there, where I was buried, or at least interred." And you used to serve this. Clergy, yes. Clergy of Hoketh. I did, yes. I could have served it a lot better, though. What do you mean by that? Life is very complicated, Otho. It can be equally as infuriating. I know the feeling. Then you can also know my drive. Do you have any other questions before you leave? Did you see heaven? 
If I did, the memories were taken away from me when I was brought back to life against my will. I see. Besides, there are many places to go when you die. Life and death have many roads. Perhaps when we get back, you can tell me more about them. I'd rather not. I see. I won't press you, though. Thank you. Farewell. And she kind of walk away, and she goes, In exchange, ah. I will not press you. I just hope you are going to be okay. I'm not going to lie. I've come to like a few of you. She kind of steps inside the house and closes the door behind her. And then he'll uh, catch back up with the group. <sighs> All right. So we are crossing the Sisters Bridge, I think. No, we're, we're going straight south from the Sisters Bridge. That's the last place we need to be going. Oh, right. Yes, of course. Before we do any of that, can we take a moment to talk about what we just learned? Ugh. Milo, I think you of all people would be concerned, yeah? Not the moment. That the person we're supposedly helping is undead doesn't bother you? Considering the fact that the curse is being lifted little by little? No, I'm not concerned at all. Am I just the crazy one then? Iskan, I, I, I understand where you're coming from and I understand you're I don't know, survival instinct? But look, we're making progress. Yeah, but what are we trading for it? Iskan, do you want to help these people here? Do you want to put them to rest? I don't know if you noticed, but... We already fought them. I don't... I don't know if there is a rest for them. If nothing else, we can take the blight out of this entire this entire country. That's something worth fighting for for me. You have to ask yourself if that's something worth fighting for for yourself. I'm just concerned there's more going on than we know about. I mean, look at the Mira and what we discovered at the tomb, right? She came back from the dead. And she was all wrong. How do we know Lynn's right? Because the curse is slowly going away. What end would it serve for her to get rid of the curse if she's working against us? You don't have to be directly opposed with someone to be doing something that's bad for them. Maybe... Maybe there's a common goal, I don't know, but it, I just feel like there's a whole lot more now that we don't know. I agree that that's very true, but I have faith in Lynn. I have faith in what we're doing. And what else would you have us do? Run? Run to where? I, I didn't say that, I just, I don't, I feel like we should talk about it and not just keep going like nothing happened then what's the option i don't know well perhaps as we go along we may get more information that will help us come to a decision did she say anything to you when you talked to her alone i just wanted her to clarify something about our situation, our shared situation. And? She doesn't seem to be lying to us about anything. She, as a matter of fact, doesn't seem to know much about our situation. She didn't happen to say how she became undead, did she? She mentioned that she was 
buried at a Hoketh temple, or at least interred. Uh, somewhere in... Uh, Lysa... Uh, Lysa... 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 I imagine that doesn't ring any bells for any of us. You guys also, have lice. Hmm. <laughs> Shut the God. fuck up. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! It, sorry, <laughs> that's really mean. Uh, <laughs> you guys don't know where it is. No, you guys haven't been in Eastonville that long, ironically. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, only a year. Just you know, <laughs> well, not okay, conscious. Well, we were not consciously, unfortunately. <laughs> I explored via astral projection. <laughs> Wee! Yeah, no. Alrighty, so as you guys make your steps in the first block of travel, I need somebody to roll for me a d100, please. I'll do it. 14. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to pull the coin first. Hold on. <laughs> oh, good. More luck. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, no, it's just so that way you guys don't know what's what. The ground explodes with spiders. Okay. You guys travel for the first day, and there are no events. Now you have a choice. You guys can head back to Pulmonada to the south, or you could continue south to the Sister Bridge and take the path that way. You'll be off-roading, that's... technically. Yeah. I that's, be where the gray sh that's where the gray shroud is uh, holed up. Supposedly. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'd say Pulmonata. Uh, yeah, but that's that just me. Otho was pretty strong uh, on, on the yeah. mindset of avoiding the, the band-aids, I think. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to fucking press buttons. Let's go to Pulmonata instead. Okay. So you guys make your way into Pulmonata the following day. Make sure to write off your rations. I'm assuming you guys are summoning your yep. water because you have that spell. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Yep. As, long as, that, as long as that spell has been prepared, I'm just going to mm -hmm. presume you guys have access to fresh water. Mm -hmm. yep. Um... With the, oh no, I guess it probably wouldn't. Uh, would it be worth looking around and seeing if there's any fauna coming back to the area? Roll a nature check. Nature. Yeah. Okay. It's nature. A fifteen. Okay. It's almost like there's a like the best way I can put it is that the play button has been pressed on on plants again. Right, like everything was like paused before. This is a play, and oh, like it has shuffle. Yeah, you now see Pulmonata is like actually like it was gray and like putrid. It had no color, but now as you kind of roll into to Pulmonata, there's flowers like wildflowers that are growing out of you know cracks in the ground where roads once were. Um, you know, there's ivy that is kind of creeping on the sides of the building, which before looked like a tangle of nets, but now looks like you know it's flush with leaves and color. It's still, like, stagnant. There's no wind or weather here. Um, there's no animals either, but... Gotcha, okay. It it looks like the process of, like, photosynthesis is trying, but there's no sunlight. But it still is there. It still is existing. Nature is healing. I was about yeah. to say that. Oh, I don't want to say that, but yes, <laughs> nature, nature is healing. I'll say it! I would say this, plants you find potentially probably are edible, but Ooh, before they shit. probably weren't. So that's something to keep in mind going forward. Foraging boys. I'd do it. T time to kill 800 pounds worth of bison and only take back 50. Uh, in Pulmonata, wow. there's no sign of the uh, the snail, uh, just the caved in roof that it caused. Um <laughs> and you, I imagine you guys kind of peek around to where you last met the uh, mm -hmm. Grey Shroud. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they're not there. No one's there. Okay. Is it still safe? Yeah, it's still safe. You guys can stay okay. there for the night, and it's safe and secure. So, right off a ration, okay. safe to travel. You guys want to take the south road, or do you want to take the uh, southwest road? I'd say southwest road, personally. Southwest. Yeah. I would like someone to roll another D100 for me, please. Oh, I'll fucking... do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Beans>. 51. <laughs> right off another ration. Another very calm day of travel. And oh, from this point up on top of the hill, you see more of Easton Vale. 
as you walk mm. to your right, you can see that the river actually branches off into two rivers. And in the middle is sort of this large kind of promenade like rock almost, like this large piece of land that's easily been cut out from the earth, probably once a mountain that just kind of stands now. Uh, it looks treacherous as hell and impossible to get to as the river kind of rages Ooh. around this side. Uh, and you see uh, swimming in the waters, um, actually a couple little fish, but nothing <clears throat> insane. Can we go fishing? Are they uh, even yeah, big enough to yeah, eat? Do you have fishing tackle? Because this is over I a cliff. Do. This is not I, like... I, okay. I do. Go ahead to... and roll survival check. Fuck it, yeah. With your fishing Yeehaw! Tackle. 11. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you scan? I don't have tackle. Oh, okay. 11? No bites. I can tackle um, a fish. Good. <laughs> You'd fall and die, though, but you could. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I should have guidance. The, the oh, problem no. you have is like at one point, as you guys are kind of making camp for the night, Milo, you kind of cast over. You are going to like the end of your spool of like oh, fishing line. Like that's yeah. how far it is. And as you're like, I got one and pull it in, like you are pull like your arm hurts as you're like reeling in and like halfway through you just feel like thum, you hear you feel the fish just jump off. You're not sure if it oh. survives or not, but it is oh. such a long way to reel in that unfortunately <laughs> you're unable to catch it in. <laughs> Next time, maybe I should get guys to help. It's a long way down. Guys is behind. Guys is behind you, actually, like talking to himself. Dear Esther, fuck you. I lived. Dear oh Esther. My God. <laughs> Dearest <laughs> Esther, how do how do I word this? I just had a war flashback. Thanks, Zito. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your night. You guys make camp for the night. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Right off another ration. Which tile are you Wait. heading to next? Oh, we're going through them. We're at seven now, right? Oh, uh, we're at six. Yep. Now. Oh boy. I have. I'm uh, good. Uh, I would say just straight south. I'd like. I wouldn't mind trying fishing again, and we'd be on the road technically, wouldn't we? You would, yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Then let's just go straight south. Okay. Well, question. Someone rolled. Mm -hmm. Sorry. We can, like, diagonally counts as just one day of movement, right? It does, yes. It, that would also still be on the road. But it would be away from a potential food source, and y'all said so, y'all just got done saying you're running low on rations. The well, we didn't we did hear that the Rukin River was famous for its bountiful amount of fish. So yes, but Monty specifically highlighted that the amount of fish there are small and measly, and also difficult to catch because we have to fish off a cliff. That is true. That is also true. But she also mentioned that Otho noticed some of the the plant life was coming back and could possibly be edible so we can also forage for plant food if we want to and that would be I, easier to do since more of us can do it we don't only have one, one i would do it two things one we don't know if there is going to be any edible plants from here all the way to the border we know that there are fish there if i could get assistance and if i can remember to guidance next time i would have probably better success rates why don't you guys just all graze? <laughs> yeah, guys is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but not actually. Aww. <laughs> you you, all, you suffer from the Goron problem where, like, why don't you just eat rocks are all around you? Why don't you I just eat rock. grass? I it's need everywhere. rocks to eat. Why don't you eat the boulder? <gasps> <laughs> you eat plants. Why don't you eat all the grass on the ground? Yes, think before you speak, punk ass. I love that comic so much. <laughs> Such a good comic. All right. Let's do votes then. Everyone for taking the south path. I, me. One, two. Everyone for taking the uh, south east path. I. I. Bosco, you're gonna be the the tiebreaker here. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna shit on Gaijin's fun and say go the other way. Of course okay. you would, you bastard. <laughs> yep. Okay. Sorry, so I know you I like just... it. Ty, I know, I know you like me. Because the thing is, if we if we fail, <laughs> then we may have to. You know what? Why I mean? Why would like, we want to assume we fail? Because we've done nothing but fail. That is very incorrect, you pessimist. <laughs> the uh, last excuse time you the caught fuck fish me. Was enough fight, for one fight. person. Gaius and I, the very first encounter, Gaius and I just rammed down those. Zombies. I elbow dropped on a skeleton. What do you mean <laughs> fail? 
Hey, hey, guys, we can't eat any of those things. <laughs> All I, right. You have to understand this is coming from Mark, who rolls ones like oh. there are stuns at the beginning of a day. They're guaranteed. Speaking, speaking of beginning of a day, someone roll another percentile dice for me, please. Oh. Do, it. do it. Oh, okay. Zito, do it. Oh, Zito, no. do it. No. Zito, do it. Last time. Everyone, Zito. Do it. God. 71. Anyone? Oh, my God. What's with all those 71? Ones? Okay. Got to get the memes. Sorry, one second. Uh, that's Come on, coffee. coffee. Work. I want something cool to happen. Josh. <laughs> Wallfly, that you? Okay. Interesting. Oh. <clears throat> I should catch a case of death. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mound. Cave. As you guys make your way forward uh, throughout the day, kind of keeping your eyes out for herbs, uh, you stumble upon three recently crafted graves with wooden headstones. Oh. Are they graves? You can see them, you can see them at a distance. Recent graves? We had to get close to investigate. But they look Shit. recent. Uh, I say we should investigate. If if we got a bed down somewhere, and I'd rather not leave any metaphorical stone unturned or literal. Weren't there three of those members of the Grey Shroud? Who buried them then? Lynn? No, probably not. This Maybe far south? we should check it out. But let's be careful. All right, we, we're, we're going to sneak in the worst way possible. Let's do it. All right. Go ahead and roll a group stealth check, please. Group Stand stealth. back, everyone. I'm going to stealth. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Whoa! Natural 20! Nice. 14. So sneaky. Okay. 12. You guys, using the grass to your advantage, kind of sneak inside of the grass and make your way forward. And sure enough, you now see them up close. Uh, the headstones are just kind of like wooden plank almost. Like they look like they're probably used to be part of a wagon of some kind. that were just kind of torn and like shoved in the ground. Uh, notably, as you approach, you notice that the headstones are unmarked. Uh, and there are three holes, very large holes, in front of the the tombstones. Are the holes empty? Roll an investigation check. Ooh, boy. Uh, may I may I guidance myself with this one? Uh, this is e scan, so just e scan's gonna roll this. Ooh. Okay, fourteen. Okay. They are big enough for a medium humanoid to filled um but of note with that investigation check you're also able to determine that these were not dug out from above they were dug out from inside it's like something uh, came out of it uh oh god i'm pretty sure these are uh a sign of undead the holes Nothing look like stays. they were dug from in inside They say nothing stays dead in Easton Vale. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, cool. Monty? Uh-huh? Could I investigate the holes looking for, like, scraps of clothing, any possible identification? Uh, I will say with that investigation check and just your guys' general passive investigation, there is nothing else inside the hole. It ah. is just an empty hole. There are signs of, like, claw marks inside, like someone clawing at the inside. Mm -hmm. Would there be tracks we could find yeah. now that we know that something kind of trudged its way out of the earth? I would say that's a survival check for that one. Who's got a good survival check? Uh, I do. What what what's your uh, what's your modifier mark? Plus six. Cool. Do I will, it. <laughs> I will guidance you then. Unless Otho has better. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I roll that D four. Oh. Uh, well, it's twenty three without. <laughs> And okay. then I'll just add the D4 for the great strength of feet. 24. Noise. 
Yeah. I have good news and bad news. Give me the bad news first. Well, the bad news is whatever was in here walked away. Yes. <laughs> right. The good news is maybe good news is that it what the footsteps suggest that they went n went north. Oh. To uh, Colmenada. Oh. oh. Cool. So the three people we were talking to were probably zombies. Well, we guy been says gone that out loud. For, by the way, we've been guy. gone for two weeks, right? <laughs> Uh, like a week and a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, his eyes widen and he like grabs Milo. The three bandits were zombies. Uh, guys, we don't know that. That's what's scary about it. All right, just, just, all right, let's, let me go. Let me go. All right. Well, either way, it looks like South should be clear of at least these three. What does the. What does the gate of the footsteps look like? Uh, he would, I guess, describe it via Monty's voice. Uh, shambling is the best. <laughs> ah. Nothing marked. Uh, I guess it's, it wouldn't be worth investigating the makeshift headstones at all. They I look mean, like someone just tucked them in the ground just as a marker and left. Mm. Well, we could do one of two things. We can either just completely ignore this and keep going south, or follow the tracks back up to find these three zombies. Wait, uh, guys, I, I just had a thought. Um, didn't Lynn say that there was a bandit keep at the Sisters Bridge? Which is north of here. Uh, not really so much a keep as just kind of a makeshift setup. I don't think they have any sort of fortifications. That would be worse then because it's possible that three undead went there. Which means there might be more undead there now. Oh no, how terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, so, so as much as, as as much as that was kind of harsh, I, I think we should keep going south. Just keeping an eye out. They may turn around for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, okay. <sighs> so we are proceeding then. Well, that's my vote. All right, you guys proceed. Right off a ration. You guys make a camp for the night. <sighs> Far off sound of the crashing river, kind of lulling you to sleep. You wake Hurry up noise. The next day. Another percentile roll, please. I'll do it. Seventy-two. Sorry, one second. That's oh, one better shit. than yours, Z, though. Okay. What if it's in reverse? <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> so mine's better than yours? Yeah, no. Objectively. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. All right, as you guys are How many walking... banshees, Monty? <laughs> Morning is generally uneventful. And as you progress, you kind of begin to see the roads carved in the land a bit easier. Again, you're in mostly open field. There's not very many trees, and if there are, they're like kind of sporadic birch trees. You can see far off, no longer veiled by the mist, a small, what looks to be like a village... Um, as you guys are heading south, it would be to your right. Uh, and then you see, like, kind of a bunch of pathways kind of curve away. You also hear something. Oh boy, the axe comes out. <laughs> hey, shoot, pull out the axe. Can we get some kind of bearing about where we're hearing this from? It seems to be coming from down the road. As you can in, also hear the rustling of leaves as well, accompanying it. Ah, uh, maybe we should get off the road and 
go quietly? I mean, there's not exactly a lot of cover here. I'm Is not there sure not money? It makes that much of a difference. It's grass, but. Ah, uh, but how tall is this grass? I was going to say, maybe yeah, it's covered over for tall. you, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Probably like, I'm going to say probably like four to five feet, depending. Hey, hey Monty. Hi. I have a bronze discus. Can I throw it near the vicinity of the sound to see if anything reacts? Sure, go for it. Go and roll. I, I do so. What do I do to roll? Uh, just a athletics check if you're doing this athletically. Yep. Ping him in the head with the frisbee. Wahoo, 11. Wow. You throw your discus. And you hear it kind of clunk off of something. You hear, and then more like leaf shaking, like, and then like thrashing and moving. Well, they have to come to us first. Uh, you wait. Nothing happens. Unless it's stuck in there somehow. So maybe like a a zombie tree. <laughs> I've had enough of those for one lifetime. Or it could be a zombie wolf. That sounds way worse than regular wolves. Let's, uh... We gotta keep going forward, so... Maybe... I don't know. I, I could hide in the grass a bit. I, 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 I pick up Milo. My, 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 brother in, my brother in whatever you praise. No. <laughs> Alright, so let me get this straight. You all want to go after this theoretical zombie tree, but the snail was just right out. We don't want to go after it, but we don't really have a whole lot of options here. Alright, well, let's go then. Just be careful. Yeah, let's just like, fucking go, I guess. Okay, you guys are approaching. As you guys stand up and approach, you kind of make your way down the road to where the road splits in two ways, and in the middle is a large oak tree, and hanging from the tree is a zombie, hanging by its leg in a rope trap, but it's currently just, like, swinging around like a pinata, and, like, ah, and you can see your discus is right next to it. Uh. <laughs> it kind of reaches out and, like, is trying to, like, slash towards you, and it kind of makes it just swing, <laughs> and it just kind of is just stuck there, swinging. Uh, I could put... <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> Upside down. down. I swing a bit more. I swing, I swing a, a bit, bit less. less. But we both swing if you know what we mean. Alright, should I put out of its misery? If you can do so safely. Uh, I'm very capable of that. Does that work permanently? Oh, what everything do you mean? That, everything that dies in here comes back. Oh, not when it comes to Orin's sacred flame. They sure don't. Well, then, by all means. All it's right. True. It's true, the sun is hot. <laughs> Thank oh, you for that. Ins wow. It's like trying so desperately to reach towards all of you. I bring up I bring up my right arm to, to have a beam of light cascade down in sacred flame. Oh. <laughs> It's a DC 14 if it's even possible to dodge. Oh my god, it rolled really well. Uh, that's a 15. <laughs> As you cast a Sacred Flame, the zombie like swings to one side like a pendulum and then swings back and goes, ah! As it spins a little bit too much and kind of... I'll, I'll, I'll do it again then. <laughs> Alright, you foom again. Yeehaw! Damn. Same roll! <laughs> All right, good roll, and that hits, and he fails, and you... And the body just immediately goes slack. I want to make extra sure. I chop his head off. All right, you <laughs> shing, chop the head off, and the head just <laughs> on the ground. The body appears to be that of like um, some sort of like like very simple linen wear. The pants are just shredded to pieces, um, and like all the hair is just falling out of the head. A very gaunt skeleton face that is now on the ground, but it is no longer moving and just like balefully swings side to side. <sighs> I examine the trap. Sure. Uh, roll a survival check. To, maybe get an idea of how long it was sprung or anything like that. That's going to be hard to determine, unfortunately, especially because this thing's been moving around. Uh, well, 14 on the survival check. It's a pretty, uh, like, rudimentary, like, you know, trigger trap. If something steps in the space, it, it 
lifts them up. Um, you have no idea how long ago this was this was triggered. Um, some of the scrape marks on the tree and just like the general sort of nature of the of the rope suggested probably a week, if not longer. Can I can I ask? Does it look like it's a man trap or an animal trap? Uh, you get the sense from that survival check. This is probably intended for either. Really, it can work on either. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like to check the body, see if there's anything to identify it. Okay. You kind of go through some of the pockets. Um, you don't find anything to identify it, um, but you do find, like, a couple of copper pieces, like, two copper pieces in the pockets. I don't, I don't think he's going to be needing these. Oh, I bastard. really don't know how or why this trap was put up here. I can also see it as an omen for that. Uh, can we see the town from here? Uh, you can. You can see like just a peppering of, of buildings in the distance, far yeah. ways away over the hills. I, yeah, I point over in the direction of the village when I say that. That's not orchard, right? Uh, no. I was about well, to say, I think that's... told specifically to take the road towards orchard, but not to go to orchard. All right, that's that's the way we're going. We go, we go straight south from here, but don't turn off. I'm... That's why I was asking if that if we could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logically... Your intelligence is your own. You have to apply your own intelligence to these things. I'm not just going to tell use you. Use brain, sorry. kids. Use yeah. brain. Hi, welcome to D and D. You got to use your brain. Well, but that's reason, my dumb stat. Only reason why I'm pushing this is because you your highlighted that stat. Lynn pointed on the map. So I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Like, she just pointed south. She just just go south is what she said. Right the down the road. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, she your map isn't completed, so she pointed down on your map but didn't reveal anything because she doesn't know exactly where yeah. it is. <laughs> right down the road. And if anybody argues with me, it's like, then why did Lynn know about the other places? It's because she's actually actively been through there multiple times, so she kind of has a better sense for that on the map. I don't suppose this is a fruit bearing tree of any sort, is it? Roll a perception check. I zombies? To do that. Yeah, zombie uh, may, may I guidance myself? You may. You said perception, right? Perception, yeah. Okay, my brain is dumb. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, 25. 25. <laughs> you do see that there are trees that are seem to be set in rows. It's hard to tell at a distance, but you do see that there seems to be some sort of formation to the trees, yes. Is that in town or far enough away that it wouldn't be risky? This is a very, like, based on the buildings you're seeing, it looks very small. Mm -hmm. Um, this seems to be kind of around the town. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing some trees in an orchard configuration. So one, I'm assuming that's orchard, but two, there, there might be fruit there. Although Lynn told us not to go in there. Well, I'm not saying going into the town, just it's kind of around the outskirts. Uh... I don't know, with our friend here, he kind of points at the dead body. I feel like that's an unnecessary risk. How much food does everyone have? Uh, five days so, worth? Yeah, Six I've got about the same five yeah. days. All right, five so days. here's the thing. I've got nine. I can't split enough amongst everyone. We've got a ways to go still. Well... If or just we go along then. If Lynn's estimate was right, we have maybe three or four days till the border. And then after that, how long? We don't know. Iskan, I'm only saying this because it's something, it, it could solve a problem before the problem becomes a problem. Right. He looks side to side. We don't have to go in the town. If it's too dangerous, we could tell easily enough. But we're going to need food soon. Moral decisions. It's moral? No, it's just more decisions, I guess. Oh. I was going to say survival decisions. Survival <laughs> decisions. Let me, let me ask you Y'all fuckers final. wanted a map. Now you got to deal with a map. I love <laughs> it, Monty. I know, I know. Let me, let me ask you this, Milo. You said before that... You have faith in Lynn. Well, Lynn told us not to go. So do you want to change that now to maybe find fruit? 
She said don't go to the, into the town. We're not going into the town. There's orchards outside it. I can tell. I grew up in a community that would... Look, that's the I option. I will say this. It's not very separate from the town. It's just like... Ah. Uh. Yeah, just to clarify that. It's not like, oh, here are the trees all the way over here, and there's the town. It's like, no, it's like the town is right next to the trees. Ah. Yeah. But it's not like in the town. It's like next to it. Mm. All right, so do we want to put it to a vote then? I say we avoid it. I say we at least go check it out. What do the rest of you say? I shrugs. He has no decision. Yeah. <laughs> well <sighs> my my gut is telling me no but my body sorry sorry <laughs> <laughs> but my body this is the <laughs> just as long as your gut isn't telling you the same thing when we start running out of food Kai how about yes. you yeah, I'm kind of with Otho. The less right. risks, the better. All right, then. Let's keep going. You guys make camp for the night, right off another ration? Yeah. More is revealed. No, that is the hide thing. So More no. revealed. I need someone to roll me a D100, someone who hasn't done it yet. Bosco! Do it, buddy! Hey, look, oh, another bridge. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Uh, Twenty-eight. Sorry, give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Um, for what it's worth, I just wanted to point out that, like, Given that we've now had a conversation about it, I think we would probably be trying to kind of like look for foraging opportunities during okay. today's travel, right? As yes. you guys are walking, you see something in the middle of the road up ahead. Not like a person or a thing, but you see something at a distance. I would like everyone to make a group perception check, please. Yay. Perception. Oh, Fucking, what are these rolls? Five. Nineteen. Gaijin, every time you roll, I think it's me because of your dice wheel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, 19. Nice. And 18. Wow, these are, this is a success. We see so much. All of you, yeah, you see a lot. You guys walk and almost like Western movie style, stop kind of equal, everybody kind of in a line on the road, just all together side by side. And you all see clearly in the middle of the road on a table, a small little table, a single pie. <laughs> oh, okay. This is Japes. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Could I, de Monty, I have a dumb question. Could I determine what kind of pie? <laughs> <laughs> Roll an insight like on the big pie. Whiff. Inside oh, the man. pie, let's go. I'm trained in this. Twelve. <laughs> this pie is an enigma. <laughs> Mystery pie. Is it a charismatic enigma? Is there a something rock about, on the something, road? Something about it is charming. <laughs> all right. Uh, if <laughs> there is a rock on the road, there's rocks all over the road. It's it's a very crude gravel road. I right, I right. hold on, hold on. Before anyone does that, can you give me? You know what? No, I'm just going to cast it. Well, no. Can you guys give me 10 minutes to ritual cast? I mean, all right. I mean, I'm just standing sure. here having Vietnam. Ga Gaius is ready to fucking backs, throw a rock like you know. a skipping stone. So you uh, tell me. I would, I would so, like to. Did, yes? Yeah. What's up, Connor? I'm sorry, just, just, just to clarify, you mentioned it was on a table? Yeah, it's got like, it's on top of like a like little. Like a wooden little, table. Yeah, like a little wooden table. In the middle of the road. Yeah. That's yeah. why I want to cast Detect Magic. Okay. Okay, here I go. It gives off no magic. Well, <laughs> it's not it's not magical at all. Why I just just perplexion. If that's even a word. I am 
I'm tossing this fucking rock at the table, please. Okay, roll okay. to hit. Roll to hit the pie. Athletics? Yeah, just athletics. It's fine. 24. Okay. <laughs> the rock hits the table. Nothing happens. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. Uh, how close are we? I, I assume we have to be within 30 feet, at least. You guys, yeah, for the detect magic, you're about 30 feet away. All right, this is silly. I, 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 I'm gonna go check it out. I won't eat it or nothing. I just I want to have a closer look. I, I'm going to approach the pie at a safe right. distance, safer distance. <laughs> how close I, to the I pie do you get? Bumper sticker. Danger after pie. after after ten feet, I want to stop and assess, and then ten okay. more feet, stop and assess. All I right. will assess the pie, Monty. You approach ten feet, so you're about twenty feet away. Uh huh. Nothing happens. Uh -huh. You approach again; it's now ten feet away. Nothing happens. Would a perception check even be worth it at this point? You can if you want to. Okay, this is silly. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, good ten. It's not a fresh pie. I mean, it's not like rotten. It's just a pie. <laughs> I can't the cast detect poison or disease, kids. <laughs> it's, it's a pie that you get it like a. Pie. It's, like, it's like a pie you get at like a <laughs> deli or a bodega. It's just like sitting there for like a day. It, yeah. It's yeah. good. Walmart. It's That's still edible, pie. but not looking I, good. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna take my mace out and poke the pie. Okay, as you poke the pie. You begin to see the innards of the pie move. <laughs> no, no! I back up very quickly. As you do so, thousands upon thousands of centipedes and beetles come crawling out of the oh, pie crust. Oh, gross! Holy oh. Why am I psychic? I called this! <laughs> and I need everyone to roll initiative as it can do uh. an insect swarm. Yep. No! <sighs> oh, good. We're going to be using Theater of the Mind for this fight. Cool. Naughty the fuck? Finally, six good. <laughs> I am fucking psychic, my dude. Nine. <laughs> right. Twenty. Fuck oh, pie. Fuck <laughs> pie. <laughs> 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 Is my music playing? No, I don't hear anything. Oh, no. there we go. Sorry. I gotta get our intensive pie fighting music in. Excellent pie time. Who put this here? The pie did, obviously. <laughs> Millions of, of bugs put a pie down? No, also, I still, I still cannot roll above a 10 for initiative. Do you guys hear the music? Cool. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not playing music? on my end. I'm going to refresh real fast. Chat, can you guys hear the music? Let me know if the chat can hear the music. They can. Apparently, yes, they can. God, I imagine Milo's that little girl looking God. back, running away. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I'm why sorry, does this man. happen? No, 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 you're good. It's all good. I think I know why I can hear the music. Potentially. Are we good? No? What? Oh, there we go. Now we're good. Thank God. That was super weird. All right. Bugs. They're saying it's quiet. It's quiet? I'll turn it up then. Uh. Let me know if it's too loud now. Give me a second. I gotta write down my bug stats real fast. <laughs> would, you like a, would you like a pie? Would you like, would you like a pie of spiders? No, I spiders. It is then. And, but he was already pouring, up, already cutting a pie full of spiders. <laughs> All right. Uh, some, in some societies, that's a good meal. It is. Shout out to bug eating. It's actually incredibly sustainable. Oh, so it's you're just saying that because you ate a cricket two months ago. I've eaten several crickets in the past few days. I have a vial of delicious crickets. All right. <laughs> delicious. In the future. Low. Let me. Oh God, these initiatives. Otho. Okay. Otho with a twenty. We have Kai with a thirteen. If I go after the pie, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> we have Eastcan. Uh, with a 10, we have Gaius with, with a 9, and then we have Milo with that classic cleric initiative of a 6. Boy, oh boy, let's I'm gonna go. Roll for the, I'm going to roll for the insects, the pie insects. Uh, pie. I have bad news They're for you. They're a pie flavor. I have bad news for you, Mark. Damn it! 
It's pie. How does it go before me? Use All the right. staff. Like a clown car from hell, insects <laughs> pour out of the pie crust. Honk, honk, motherfucker. <laughs> and begins to congeal into a massive swarm of insects. Otho, you are up first as you see this happen, and uh, you are quite close to the smile. You're 10 feet away from these things as they come out of the pie crust. So, mm -hmm. Otho, it is your turn, and you're 30 feet away. <laughs> Otho just <laughs> looks over at everybody and goes, Oh my. And, uh. <laughs> oh my pie. He'll, he'll, uh, unsheathe his saber and he will. So, so the. If I, if I were to run 30 feet. Yes. I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to reach the insect swarm. No, you would reach the pie. You would reach, oh my god. You'd, you'd reach I'd the reach pie the and pie. the insects. Yes, you would reach the so, pie. So. Just so I know, for my sneak attack, Milo and the swarm of insects are right next to each other. They no. are, yes. No, they're not. Milo is 10 feet away. away. Yeah. The pie moved, um, I got scared. <laughs> and the pie is not surprised. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, the pie is not surprised. Uh, Yeah, I'll just do this. Uh, I'm going to run up and try and swing at these. Oh, wait, no. Wait, could I? I'm sorry. I need to look something up real quick because I don't know how this works. Precisely. All right, Kai, you're to follow, so if you need to prep anything on your turn. I'm just Can looking you stab at... stab an insect swarm? Probably, that's, but meta yes. that's meta knowledge. You can't look that shit up. I mean, I wasn't. Um. <sighs> oh, though, think. I mean, I got a plan. Oh, it wouldn't. Uh... So I couldn't get I I I couldn't get flanking or sneak attack with this. Uh, no. There's no one to flank with, and there's no one to sneak attack with. So. Darn it! All right. Uh, in that case, I will just run up to the insect swarm pie, and I will swing at it with my saber. Okay, go for it. Hiya. Ten. You slice the pie in half, uh, but all the insects move out of the way before the slice hits them. Ah! Um... They are now pooling around your feet and kind of scrambling on top of your boots. Uh, and that used all three feet of my movement, so I really can't do anything else. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to use my cunning action to okay. dash. Ooh, all right. I, oh. will, I will leap backwards uh, about 15 feet. I'm going to make the argument right now that this can't take reactions, but in exchange, it cannot be flanked because it is a bunch of insects. Yeah, so. it's a swarm. Fair it is enough. a swarm, but it won't take reactions because it's not of one cognizant mind. So I'm just going to make that trade off where you can't get flanking, but in return, it can't get reactions on you. All right. I was going to try and eat its reaction, but in that case, there we go. Yeah. That's my turn. All righty. Kai, it is now your turn. Uh, all right, he's gonna run up past Milo to try to help his brother, but then his brother's gonna dash out of the way. Oops! Uh, <laughs> uh, he's then gonna look down at the swarm and turn back to Gaius. Hey, Gaius, time to make yourself famous! And I'm gonna use the help action. You have advantage. Okay. Gaius has advantage. It is now the Pi's turn. Damn it! And guess, and guess what Pi rhymes with? Cross. Die. Die? Die. No. <laughs> Let's see. It's going to As in, cool. Die Hard dies. Whoa. It's going to go for you, Milo. It scrambles towards, cool. towards you, Milo, and immediately I, it enters your space. I bring up my shield and I say, Get back the soilers of good pastries! And I cast warding, for I use warding flare. All right, disadvantage. As it goes for a bite attack as it swarms into you. Matilda really hates this, apparently. <laughs> well, Matilda's not playing. Eleven. That will miss. As they begin to crawl up the sides of your legs, you kind of let loose the light, and some of them kind of fall off your legs. 
not getting purchased to your tender and delicious flesh. Oh, my tit delicious gams. That ends the pie's turn. e scan it is now your turn. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, but I'm going to run over and try to thwack some bugs, I guess. All right, you run over, ready to thwack some bugs. Bite them. Yeah. <laughs> it's an 18 hit. 18 hits for six, six bludgeoning. bludgeoning. Nice. To the bugs. You just bring down the 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 quarter staff and the crush a bunch of bugs underneath of it, and it's a dent, but they there are a lot of them, and it wasn't as effective as you expected, but you did kill a few of them. I, I hope that helps. I don't know what's going on here. It's like hitting eggs, like when the the, the oh, sensation God. when you hit it is like hitting like weirdly flat eggs. Like rowing a boat through jello. Yep. Except That's for the jello turn. has like crunchiness to it. All right, oh, Gaius, God, it is oh. now your turn. Crunchy jello sounds horrible. Gaius was going to pull out his axe, but no, he puts it back. This feels like more of a trial. I'm going to leap my ass in there and I'm going to go in with a swing. All right. You have advantage because of uh, Kai's assistance. Let's, let's go. Bugs. And since I'm, do I'm doing this jab bugs. freehand, so what? Someone was saying something? No, I'm just chanting punch the bugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> punch the bugs. That hits. That's funny. Uh, this is immune to being grappled for good reason. Oh, so. no, obviously. Yeah. I, I'm not grappling. I'm not grappling. <laughs> yeah. Grab a single <laughs> centipede. <laughs> just like elbow choke it to the ground. <laughs> 17 absolutely hits, so go ahead and roll damage. It's actually a 20 because advantage, but yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So All right, eight. eight. Not bad. Eight damage. Uh... Forgive me, I haven't played fire in a while. Action surge, that's a bonus action? You get an additional action or bonus action of your choice. Additional action, do it again. All right, you use your, your reaction surge. You have another attack, go for it. 21. That, that hits. Nine. Nine, very nice. Bonus action, hit it again. All right, offhand. 12. <laughs> Uh, 12 just hits. Oh, uh, two. Two points of damage. All right. How do you, what do you do to these bugs? I just woke up level three. What do you, <laughs> <laughs> you're not level three. That, that's oh. a fighting, that's a fighting game. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing oh, fighting game. Oh, I see. I see. Now, Monty. It's like, a, it's like a super. Sorry. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I literally just pulled a fucking normal combo and just like fucking slapped a new kid off of strive. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a ladybug, and you just elbow drop it. I, I just did like a fucking like I just did a level one bandit bringer into a, a casual like three string, and I just like slapped the kid off the internet connection. <laughs> you got it. Uh, this swarm, like, like there's just the ground is covered in crunched up, squashed bugs, but the swarm is still on a war path right now. Jesus. Gaius, is that your turn? That's turn. All right, Milo, it is now your turn. All right, so we're not surrounding this thing in a circle, correct? Like, we've got no. some room. Thank you. Cool. Milo will grasp his right arm, bring the right arm up, and just curse these horrible, horrible insects for besmirching this pie. Burn in holy fire! Burning hands. All right. 13. Deck save DC 14. Uh... That is going to be a 16, so they do succeed, but they take half, I believe. They take half damage, correct. They do, yes. They take six points of fire damage as it's just like... I like to imagine as this is happening... Um, sorry, I'm just doing math here. I like to imagine as this is happening, like, Otho, you're just at a distance watching it as, like, Gaius is punching the bugs, and then immediately a flamethrower comes out, and it's all just happening, like, at a distance, like, someone watching in <laughs> far away. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's just, just like, like pie crust slopping off of their <laughs> there super. There is. It's like all throat. over the ground. They're still scrambling around, but they've definitely um, been scorched. Can I? They're they're within my space, correct? They are. They're within five feet of you. Yes. Okay. Um. 
I am you, going. You can move away. Remember, they're, yeah, they're yeah. I, a swarm. So I'm, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm arguing they can't be flanked, but they can't take reactions instead. I'm going to move away, but kind of off to the side to kind of see if they'll separate them out from attacking any of my other allies. Like okay. I'm trying to draw them away. As you move away, they seem to be congealed. They seem to want to stick together. I just wasn't sure if they were gonna, if, if they were theoretically gonna follow me or not. Hard to say. We'll see what happens on their turn. Okay. It's hard to okay. incite a bunch of bugs. They all that's, have their own hopes and dreams. No, no, so. that's 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 fine. That's fine. <laughs> that was that was my plan is to not move really far, like maybe ten feet to the side to see if they yeah, would go absolutely. after me and leave my allies alone. You got it. All right. Cool. Top of the turn order, Otho. It is now your turn. All right. I'm gonna close in. I'm gonna try and swing at him with my saber once more. All right. Go for it. A thirteen. That hits. Okay. Uh, Saber. Uh, it's going to deal 10 slashing damage with my sneak attack. Nice. You just kind of wave your saber and just do a bunch of swift slashes. And then all the bugs kind of curl inwards, dead. Amazing. I was just about to pick up the table and use it as a fucking bludgeoning weapon. <laughs> this is <Boy>. squash <laughs> It's got a flat surface. <sighs> what a waste of a good pie. How did that many bugs even fit in there? That's a good question. I have no idea. Is there anything in the pie crust? As you kind of move it around, there's like, this is gross. There's like insect eggs. Oh. How deep is this thing? It's a, it's a hefty pie. <laughs> It's like a secret compartment pie. It's Mary Poppins pie. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe we should destroy the eggs. I was almost ready to say roll an insight check to determine <laughs> the capacity, but I'm like, nah. It's, it is. Does this thing fucking have ties destroyed. to the astral realm? What the fuck? <laughs> the pie of pocket dimension. <laughs> So it just opens directly to good the Good job, guys. You ruined your first the magical item, the pie of the infinite. The pie of holding. <laughs> pie of infinite insects. I wanna I wanna say right now, like title suggestion, what rhymes with pie? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, I hate that. I if no one else is gonna do anything with the pie, Milo's gonna like knock it off and just like crush the eggs. You got Can it. I you kinda stamp the table? down. It's a table. Is there any like any like Car carving uh, like a signature or any design or anything like no, that. No, it's just it's just the probably the most boring table that has ever existed. It's got two legs and a and a top to it and two just, legs. I mean four rather. Sorry, four re four two legs Whoa. on each side, four <laughs> legs total. Pedal. Gravity <laughs> defying. Yeah, no, it's not a gravity defying table. It is a very bog Perfectly standard, balanced. incredibly boring table. Be. It's like two feet off the ground as well. Like it's like not too long, like tall either. Mm. You guys will see Iskan with his thumb and his index finger on his chin as he's walking circles around the table before he eventually he just throws his hands up where the heck did this come from <laughs> sorry you just, got me i'm so confused uh i think we all are uh east guns I... should we keep going uh, i guess should we take it I think it's cursed in my book. I just like looks at the table, just like, uh, okay. <laughs> you guys are leaving the table. I flip it and then I walk away. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you flip it over. The dramatic slow motion <laughs> table flip. Yeah. Alrighty, you guys set out back on the road. And that's where we're going to take our break. Wow. Good. All I'll right. be right back. Da, da, da. Big same. Table with the pie. Oh, what a weird game. game. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the patented, definitely not stolen Mark halftime show. Oh, wow. Definitely not stolen from any other halftime show. How you doing, chat? Legally distinct? Yes, definitely legally distinct, not Bosco halftime show. I hope you guys are uh, as equally confused as I am. Um, I don't have any way to check like the stuff that was donated during 
our uh, last couple hours here, but I'm sure when Connor or Bosco get here, they can. <laughs> As I hear Connor in the background. Oh, is this full? What, what did I pour in this? <laughs> That's water. Ah, anyway. Uh, Gorn ZX55, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, I believe that question has been asked before. We'll save that for Monty when she comes back. I'm sure she has an answer for you. Uh, DD Russian, thank you for, uh, your 23 months of subscriptions. I'm looking forward to the next chapter of the adventure. Good luck, everyone. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Um, just a note to any of our fellow adventurers out there. If you're walking down a road in the middle of the forest or the plains or whatever, and there's just a table with a pie on it, just don't go near the pie. Probably wasn't your pie in the first place, so it's fine. Uh, Sean Helfen, I don't know what other mark you're talking about. Be -be -be. Defective Sheep, thank you for the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits. Title suggestion, I expect you to pie. That's pretty good. Blackfoot Ferret with the 500 bits, I was betting on snail pie. This was better, though. Better or worse? I feel like I feel like worse is probably the actual answer there. I heard a gong noise. I don't know. Someone hit something. It wasn't me though. <clears throat> it cannot be both better and worse. That's not that's not how words work. Those words are opposites. Who are you? Who are you to limit my words? <laughs> I'm not limiting your words, just the use of them. <laughs> Hundred bits from Zenlita. When you guys were deciding whether or not to forage for food, it went from a moral dilemma to a moral <laughs> dilemma. Uh, homophones are great. Bubba Bob 145, thank you for the 500 bits. A not so wonderful day for Pi. Yes, the name of Pi's, the land over, have been fully besmirched, bebugged, be insected. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Muffin Mage. I think snail pie would be worse than bug pie because snails aren't bugs, they are pseudopods. I thought they're cephalopods. I think cephalopods are like squid. Yeah, they're squids, dude. Snails aren't squids. Mollus they're mollusks. Yeah, but not all mollusks are cephalopods. Yes, that's true. Yes, you're right. So, yeah. I think you're thinking yeah, of I think, I think they are mollusks, yeah. Yes, but not all mollusks are cephalopods. You may be so thinking squid of are the cephalopods. Term but I don't think snails are. They're yeah, gastropods. No, snail, snails are, gastropods. Snails are mollusks. Yeah. Oh my God, if you say mollusks one more time, I'm coming to your house and beating you to death. Yeah, but mollusks though. <laughs> In Minecraft! In Minecraft! <laughs> uh, apparently, Matilda was yelling at me because she saw Casey eating dinner and came to me to tattle on her because she didn't get any. <laughs> wow. I can't believe you're abusing Matilda you like abuse that. Abuse my ass. She got a piece of the steak. Brandon142088, thank you for the 27 months. Love the new team. Why does Bosco love to hide his class? Because probably because you guys keep asking about it. Uh, 100 bits from Shinichi Kid IX, or maybe Shinichi Kid 9, or Shinichi Kidix. You can say the bug pie was. Unexpected leaves the room. Come. Bye. Thanks for the pun. Uh, 
And I'm quick. Drizzles. Now that the great I'm... mollusk debate of 2022 is done. I'm, I'm quickly trying to eat as much of my dinner as I can while we're on break and literally look <sighs> who's here. What? what? I'm eating crackers. Your dietitian, Matilda? Yep. Matilda's <laughs> sitting right here like, oh, well, maybe you ah, can give me some. Me? Ah, yes, this potato, broccoli with cheese, and the steak. It's all for Ooh. me. 200 bits from one SWE girl. Hey, Bosco, I'm visiting the LA area this weekend. Any good restaurant recommendations? I, I'm not Bosco, but LA is a very large area. Yeah. So where you go will be highly dependent on where in LA you are. I'll never forget when I was flying into LA and I saw like a little town. It was a little town in comparison, like near a lake. And I'm like, oh, is that LA? And then the fucking <laughs> plane turned and I just saw nothing but buildings as far as the horizon. The to the ocean, yep. And I was like, whoa, okay, holy. Like it was like, oh, yes, the LA looks great. And then like the entire plane turned it, it literally looked like a like a circuit board of just buildings. Yeah. It was it yeah. was nuts. Did you hear um what is it? Uh the the Oh gosh. The soundtrack from uh Space Odyssey. That bum 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 something Zarathustra or whatever that song is. Yeah. Called. Da 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 da, da. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hundred bits from Magic Ninjago or Magic Ninjago. I always get it right and then this time i can't remember which one it was i am back with mashed potatoes and gravy that is on top of a sliced uh, of a slice of fried bologna that is shaped like a little bowl oh, sorry everyone i had to i had to run away because apparently there were like four carpenter ants on my paper towel oh jeez. <laughs> hundred wow of stellar coyote the game is becoming real <clears throat> first the ice cream cult now the horrible bug pie does monty have something against desserts i mean Monty might say that the bug pie was an improvement, considering how how gung ho she is about the uh, bug diet. Hundred bits from Berg Flax. These pies were made in a bomb factory. They're bombs. Thanks for the pie, Milo. La 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 la. You had to kill him. <laughs> you bugged. You bugged him. What cries your sweater of tears and you bugged him? <laughs> Hundred bits from Magic Ninjago. Uh, it is also with baked beans and some broccoli with cheese on it. Oh, I'm so sad. Why? Why? I had Ohagi Mark and it went bad and I really no. wanted it. Well, how I did it go bad? I, I picked it up and it like, so the, 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 uh, God, what's, what's the exterior? Oh my God, my brain. Why is this happening? Um, it, it, it just felt like weirdly sticky and kind oh. of slimy when I picked it up, and it's yeah. like, uh... Hey, Monty, I know how you feel. Cold. These crackers are stale. Yeah, but stale crackers are just more, like, extra dry bread. <laughs> it's not, yeah, like, still... slimy or, like, moldy or anything. It's mm -hmm. just I'm more still dry. God damn yeah. it, someone drew fucking the outsider with a thick butt. All right. Good. <laughs> you you brought this on. Extra also, vowel, uh, blessed be. Also, I have I have one private conversation with someone, and everybody's already like shipping. And like, yeah, well, I mean, for God's sake, uncle. God damn it, that's what. Oh my God, how did I forget that? Mark the uncle. I think went bad. Mm. Ugh. Beans, because it Tommy shouldn't. Tune Eighty. The one, two, three, four, five, ten bits. Ha ha! Take the bits for the hype. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha! Bill Ten Seven. Ha ha! Hundred bits from Volk Five Five One. I know whom the final big bad in this game is. It's Gabo Gourmet. Ah oh, shit! Dear God, I don't think we're ready for that jelly. His tyranny knows no bound. Okay, I think this is getting cheesy. No, that's my broccoli. Hey. Is Monty still out? Sorry, I was just grabbing water. Now you're fine. All right. Let, when hold on, I, I need to open done... this can of Coke. Who's I mean, messaging I can be me? Done. I could be done right now. Oh, fucking Shay just messaged me, said you're hurting me. Snails are gastropods. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, got, we, we, we corrected ourselves. Yeah, yeah. mollusks. 
Shay is a bug scientist, so I believe Shay. They are mollusks, but they are gastropods. I'm, I'm going to keep doing bugs. this. You keep falling into the same fucking trap. I will is... stab you in your sleep. Connor, are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Bosker, are you ready to go? By the way, we left out on we left off on Burnout Vaughn's hundred bit, just so you know mm -hmm. for the future. Bosco, are you good I to go? I suppose. Okay. Gaijin, are you good to go? Uh, I suppose. Mark, you're good. Yeah, as long as Zito doesn't say mollusks again. Zito? Gastropods. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Need y'all to write off another ration, please. Platypus. Uh, we can't eat the bugs? God no. I, you're fired. <laughs> uh, I did say we were trying to forage that day. Would we be able to look for anything? The bug like took up room? most of your time, so unfortunately, no. Okay. Darn. Well, the Maybe. next day, then. You hate to see it happen. Maybe if we went to the orchard. You would know, you fun. just stop trying to kill us? <laughs> My God. <laughs> I want adventure, Mark, more than just I'm, pie bugs. I don't think I need to ask. I'm assuming you guys are just going to head south. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You guys see? More bugs. <laughs> Buglandia. And you see Certain to your right do. now, the water, the river kind of disappears into what appears to be a very large uh, mountain range off to the right. Uh, and before you is a forest. Yeah. Well, that doesn't seem right. Does the road continue into the forest or does it stop? It does. The road kind of continues and noticeably oh. is canopied by the forest. In the forest. And I need someone to roll me a D100, please. I'll do it. Can we We 20. Ready? What'd you get? What'd you get? 20. 20? Okay. Rene. Connor. <laughs> it's difficult for him. It's terminal. He has to I do know, it. I know. It's really hard. <laughs> Why do they say it's terminal? Because <laughs> he's going to die if he doesn't. <laughs> if he doesn't say 21 at least once in a stream, he explodes. I, I like assumed you meant that if he didn't do it, you'd have to transfer to a different gate and your flight would be delayed. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. That is dying. Sorry, one second. <laughs> more pie? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's run out of more pie. I'm, I'm like, I'm like Wooldor from Drawn Together. If I don't say it, my liver starts to fail. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are kind of seeing this forest in the distance, you also see coming towards you a carriage, like a, a large caravan, being pulled by two giant lizards. Oh. Let's hide, boys. Let's hide. But it's my cousin. <laughs> right to him later. Let's get in the let's get in the brush. I mean, I, I guess we can hide. Sure. We're hiding. Uh, are we able to? Before we hide, are we able to identify if it's like if there's any sort of iconography or anything? Uh, at this distance, no. You can just see that currently the two beasts pulling it are two giant lizards. Uh, it is like a sort of like black and white striped on one side of it and the roof is like kind of this really nice kind of deep blue uh it has like these two hanging lanterns on the front kind of swinging to and from which you can clearly see at a distance uh, and you can see there's a figure in the jockey's seat at the moment but you can't it's very far away given my background would this look like some sort of mercantile cart or caravan your background, yeah, this appears to be a merchant cart or a merchant caravan, rather. Okay. Um, well, I guess while we're hiding, um, Iskin will sort of whisper over to who's ever closest. Um, I think, I think we might be okay. It, it looks like a, a merchant cart. How can you be sure? The design, the colors, the easy visibility—they're not trying to hide. But what would a merchant cart be doing in Eastern Vale? Well, they're coming from Martorallo. 
that doesn't change the question. Why would they be coming in here if they're not, you know, smugglers? Wouldn't that be a good front for a smuggler? Or a good opportunity for a merchant. Not a lot of competition. Mark, I am going to pull my hair out, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can do what you want. Milo's gonna hide. <laughs> no, we. I already said we were hiding. Okay. Okay. Group self check for everybody. <laughs> By the way, I love you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I do? Three. Twelve. <laughs> Twenty-one. Natural oh. one. Oh, Connor. Oh, oh, wait. That's a four. Never mind. Is that, uh, what is that? Uh, like, six out of eight natural ones for my stealth rolls? I'm like, sorry, yeah, all buddy. Of your stealth rolls. Right. You guys all kind of hide in the, in the long grass, kind of jump into the grass and hide. And you can hear the kind of padding of the feet of these giant lizards kind of like, kind of like looking around, the eyes kind of twisting into two different directions as they kind of pad. And the wagon kind of bumps and rumbles. You can hear a lot of jingling and kind of the sounds of chains kind of moving and the rumbling of wood. And at a certain point, you can see the rider now. Uh, the Sitting in the jockey seat is a very lithe, very uh, enchanting-looking black dragonborn woman uh, with like these piercing kind of white eyes. And as she kind of pulls the wagon, she pulls on the reins and it stops. And there's like a moment of pause as her eyes kind of look side to side in the grass. And there's like a little window set in the caravan behind her and it kind of opens up and you see a white snout stick out. Mm -hmm. And the white snout goes, Ebony, why have you stopped? The black dragonborn kind of looks around and goes, If you want to rob us, I will let you know the last person who tried, I burned alive. We have no intention. Guys pulls up. Oh. She kind of cocks her head at the sight of you, not really expecting that. <laughs> Sorry, Looking it's back just... And forth between Milo and Gaius, Iskim will just sort of slowly stand up. Milo will walk out of the grass because that's all he can do yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like homer simpson out of the bush <laughs> the, but reverse <laughs> 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 there, i hope there's no misunderstanding it's just you never can tell what's going on here in easton vale so we just that go a little jumpy is a fair assessment so you are paying customers then i suppose we can be customers the black, of the black dragon more leans back and goes Ivory, open up the shop. We have customers. And she immediately jumps down and kind of ties up the reins and walks over. And they pull off from the side of the thing and it hangs up Ebony and Ivory's Emporium on the side. Oh shit, we are falling. I, I fucking the knew it. It is calling. <laughs> I fucking knew it, Connor. You watch as she opens <laughs> the side of the door and the, both the two of them step inside and you are currently in front of Ebony and Ivory's Emporium. As you see, Ivory is a white dragonborn with black eyes uh, that looks almost identical, but just a different shade of color. And they immediately fold open as a sort of front table opens up, presenting um, the basically the behind them. There's like a whole wall of stuff. You see like a bunch of uh, treasure chests, a bunch of other things as they kind of, uh, yeah, bring it forward here. I'm just going to try and find an appropriate M Milo's gonna Milo's going to waddle up to guys. Guys, maybe you could sell that bracelet. Hi, that's the idea. You have things to sell. I do. Let us. But I'm much more interested in knowing what you sell first. We sell basic goods, rations, rope, things like that. Oh, Thank goodness. We mm. do not, however, sell uh, a lot of weapons or armors. It's very heavy, so we mostly carry the light things. You watch as wow. the white drag bar goes, <laughs> and it's a good deal, too. This far out in a place where there's barely any buyers, we charge fairly. That was something that, I was going to that's, add. That's oh. a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Actually, okay. legitimately, can I insight that? Are uh, we about to get what was Gaius going to say? Sorry, what was Zito going to say? Because he got... Gaius? Do the, do the in, in, insight. I'll talk later. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and roll an insight. Eighteen. Nope. <laughs> You're like, okay, this one's eager. That's all you get. They do seem very, like, like Ebony, the Black Dragon Board, is very much like, you know, someone is going to die, and Ivory is very much of fun. Like, that seems to be kind of... <laughs> <laughs> that, does so? raise the qu that does raise the question, though. You are traveling into a place where there's nothing but hordes of undead. Yeah. Is that your, is that your customer base? Not always. She kind of looks over towards the Black Dragon Board, and Ebony kind of turns. She goes, "Desperation leads to those willing to pay a handsome price, and we are not in the business of smuggling if it concerns you. But selling to smugglers is lucrative." At a fair price, though, right? For those who do not piss us off, she kind of gives you a wink. Mm. Mm. Very Some of well. the smugglers here are of good company, good drinks, good stories. Some of them have a giant stick up their ass and think they're better than everyone, and they pen, tend to pay a bit more. Isn't that right, sister? And Ivory kind of goes, yep, we double or triple it sometimes. They're real mean. We sometimes give them stuff that isn't so great, but you guys seem all right. You have regulars here, then. Uh, Ebony kind of turns. He goes, there are those at the bridge who pay quite fairly, and they're rather nice. Let us lodge there and see to our beasts. Occasion. There's also a a, a woman named um, Zoe. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. Tabaxi woman. Oh. Wait, mm. you mean the sisters' bridge? Mm. That is the bridge, yes. You say we could find shelter there if we wanted to? Who would we speak to if we wanted to uh, gain passage there? That's a good question, Mega Man. Let me find that information. Uh, that's a good question, Mega Man. No, we need to define it all to energy, Mega Man. The mm -hmm. Dr. Willie. The, the Sister Bridge camp is led by a lion man named Nikos. Nikos. And his boyfriend's name is? I don't think he has a boyfriend. <laughs> that was a reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good job there. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> sorry, I sorry. I thought you meant best friend. <laughs> oh. uh, best. You we also have occasionally sold to some weird creepy woman as well. Uh, someone we should steer clear of? No, she seems to be a good spirit. She's just a little odd and doesn't like to group up, I suppose. I see. Ivory kindly and... sort of goes, she has glowing eyes. Is really cool. What kind of glowing eyes? Oh, like it's like a sea blue. And like she has a shovel. And she's always like, rah, 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 whenever we see her. But we sell <laughs> her stuff. She got a lot of green on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like robes, kind of hood. Long hair kind of comes like a white at the end. So it looks really good for her, like bone structure very nice i think we might have seen her around mm. Mm. she sounds so, nice she pays so we like her uh speaking of paying what are you interested you mentioned you seems like you need some food we are running a little bit low yes well i am interested in seeing what else you have as you, in your wares uh just to make this easy uh yes. The Ebony and Ivory's Emporium will not sell any item that is above 75 gold pieces. And they do have limited stock, and there is a bit of an upcharge depending on the items. God damn it. <laughs> Given mm -hmm. that uh, we all need rations, what are the prices on rations with them? I'm just going to grab that right now. Rations. Oh, man, I made, I made this way too sweet. <laughs> Uh, rations are six silver pieces instead of five, so it's just one additional silver cost. Mm -hmm. This is a robbery! Right. <laughs> they kind of go, we have about, uh, give or take, about probably 60 rations to sell. Great. We'll take 50. And it's, and it's 10 <laughs> silver to 1 gold? Is that what the price is, we're working yeah. with here? So, 
I'm gonna grab my cockalator. I'm sorry? My cockalator. <laughs> I cockalate things with it. Like one. Ivory kind of looks over towards you guys and goes, You mentioned wanting to sell something? I'm particularly uh, adept at that. Oh, yes. Uh, Gaius, like, doesn't, like, opens his duffel bag, but shows the, uh, and, and shows the jewelry. Oh, wow. And immediately she takes it and kind of pulls out. Whoa, like, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Gaius pulls the bag back. Oh, I was just going to look at it. You understand my worry, though. Oh, yeah, I guess so. You pull it out, put it on the table. I won't touch it. I'm sorry. Yep. Yep, this is way more acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you pull out the bracelet. I do. All right, and you place it on the table. She goes, I do need to pick it up to look at it, though, with my eyeballs. Guy is just, like, leans, leans, like, forward on the table and just nods, like, watching. Okay, she takes it up. Now, immediately just goes back to what she was doing before, and it's just <laughs> like, oh, okay, this is a really nice piece. Where did you get this? On our travels. Somewhat of huh. adventurous. Wow. You don't, huh. You don't really see works of art this good unless it's like big city stuff. But uh, I probably would. Mm, assess, assess, mm. 200 gold. Wow. <laughs> Guys, just like beams up. <clears throat> I begrudgingly accept these terms. Oh, okay. She returns around and she's like, "Is platinum okay if I give it to the amount in platinum?" Gaius is doing like that fucking dance that the dudes do in the car dealership in Futurama when they when Amy just goes, <laughs> she just hands her the checkbook, and they just go in there and do a quick little jump and then run back out. Yep. <laughs> oh. This will do just fine then. Okay, twenty platinum it is. And she just takes it like a bank, and she's like, one, two, three, four. Guy is like, crying. Bye. <laughs> is like, there... Uh, I guess I didn't get to really look at that piece, so... I was just trying to see if there was any way to figure out if, like, that's actually a good offer or not. You don't know. You, know, you guys don't have a jeweler's kit, so you don't know. Yeah. So that's, so what, I'm... four plat each? Well, I... I mean, Gaius is the one selling it. Yeah, I, I kind of have like all the money right now, so like <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about that in a few minutes. Gonna I side eye know. you re in in real life real hard right now, bro. I'm I have I fucked you over so far. <laughs> no, I've actually I have actually I have literally given half of like equal opportune bits of money to every single one of you every time we got paid. <laughs> I, I would like to spend six gold for ten rations. You got it. Uh, I will do the same for now. Okay. So Ditto. square and Oosh. I will spend is it? six, twelve, eighteen. Um, is it two? Uh, two gold and two silver for three rations. Uh, it would be rations, eighteen three. silver for three rations. Yeah. So that would be one gold and eight silver. One gold, eight gold silver eight for. Yeah. Black. Uh, Big change. How, I only have two it? silver. I I got I got the silver for that. Don't worry. Uh, so, how much would it be for five? That would be uh, three for gold. five. Would be three gold, yeah. Oh, okay, sick. I'll put that down, and I'll also I'll just... get the. I'll do the. I'll give you eight. Oh, uh, how much do you need? Eighteen. No, I'll just. I'll just put down the three gold as well for five. Okay, sick. Make this easy on myself. Um, uh, I can do eight rations. Okay. Anything else? How um, many rations are left? <clears throat> I'm oh, up they have plenty. Eight. The merchants have tons. Mm. They just have limited quantities, so you just buy a billion rations all at once from like a random merchant. They right. have limits to how much they can carry. So, what uh, what uh, random like items do they have? Are you saying like uh, outside of like just the rations and whatnot? Uh, they do have vials of potions behind them. Um, oh, they shit. also seem to have a myriad of different like like miners' picks and things like that. 
Hmm. Ooh. Do they have any um, wine? That's a good question, Mega Man. Mega Man's asking a lot of great questions. Uh, today. But where is <laughs> Doctor Wiley? <laughs> uh, they do actually do have a bottle of wine. Yes. Ooh. Is it good? Eighty-seven platinum. It looks about medium quality, probably. Eh. They're probably gonna up upsell me on it. I'll refrain. refrain. Uh, Monty, you said they had a pick. How much would that be? Uh, Myers pick? Yeah. I lost where that was. Uh, it's two gold for that. Fuck it, I'll drop it. Okay. They hand you off. It is ten pounds. I'm a big boy. Yep. Um. All right, you have a Myers pick. Do they have a crowbar? They do, yes. How much is that and how much does it weigh? Ebony pulls it out and puts it. It is, and she turns, she goes, this one is two gold pieces, and it weighs five pounds. I think I'll go ahead and take that. Never know when we might need to pry something open. Slides it to you. Very well. And she holds up and around and takes the money. Okay, now I have to, I have to ask the really dumb question, Monty, because I'm going to fucking do it. You have a book? We do. We have books to read. Only a couple, and we have books to write in. I would like a blank <gasps> book, please. A blank book? Uh, that will be 25 gold pieces for that one. I could do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm putting down... Uh, so each of us gets five platinum. So, by the way, by the way. Is oh, it five snap. or four? Because it was 20 <clears throat> plat, right? It's, it's 20, 20 plat. So it's four. Four oh, four. My bad. Yeah. yeah. So each of us get four. I got to dip into the platinum because I only have 20 gold. So um, how much would that put me at? So platinum is 10 gold. So. So I would I would have five extra gold at that point. You would. So, so, so think at, about it like this. You have 40. Each of you have got 40 gold from that. Just write down 40 gold each. Okay. Make life easier for you. Thank you. Thank you. It's just, Thank you. It's just in platinum amounts for the weight because these people are trying to travel light. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. That would coin, actually be intelligent. <laughs> coin has weight, so. Okay. Uh, so. Yes. Yeah, I will I will drop the 25 for that book. You got it, Chief. Hands you a book. It has like a sort of like green leather cover with like kind of like these golden latches to the side of it. Um, and like sort of like this this gold leaf inlay on it. It's very nice. And she kind of gently slides it to you and goes. There you are. We've been having that one for a while. It might surprise you, but a lot of smugglers aren't so keen on reading and writing. Guy, it's like the Legend of Zelda holds the book up over his head. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I also need ink. Oh, we do have ink, yes. Uh, we have a one ounce bottle for 10 gold pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Buy one ounce bottle of ink. Da 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 da. <laughs> we'll also be needing a pen, I assume. Guys is crying. Yes. Uh, yes. Two copper pieces. It's very cheap. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Finally, the Odyssey. It's a nice book. Begin. It's really the nice. The Odyssey can begin. Gaius is now incredibly happy with everything that's going on here. You're Excellent. My new, you're my new favorite shops, and I've only ever been to so many. Well, we hope that you find us again not ripped apart by zombies. I will, uh, kill, I will actually, slay them if I ever find out that that was what happened. Go ahead, Mark. No, yours is more... I was really. literally just going to ask, how much was three rations again? A uh, five. Well, no, uh, three, wait, no, three no, no, rations no. is... 18 silver. That's 18 silver, yeah. So one gold, eight silver. Okay. Math time. That's why <laughs> I just did 10. I would say, like, 5 is 3 gold, 10 is 6 gold. Round numbers make things easy. So You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm too lazy to do the math right now. Fair enough. <laughs> Bottle of ink. By the way, since you mentioned zombies, uh, you guys seem nice so i just wanted to warn you we found some graves that were dug up from the inside maybe about two days south of the bridge 
with tracks yeah. heading north? That checks. Ivory just kind of nods. Uh oh. Things here don't stay dead. Even if yeah. they weren't originally from Eason Vale. Yeah, we, we kind of noticed. I just wanted to warn you in case you were heading over there. That, you All know, we seems... know. She You're smiles coming... this big toothy grin. You're coming from the south. Uh, did you recently come from Matarallo? Well, yeah, of course. Hmm. Do much business there? We swing by the... Uh, let me grab my fucking map. <laughs> I've never heard of that club. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just made our way uh, up from the main city up to... Where is it? I'm going to butcher this name, too. Uh, Quinkunsk, specifically. Or Quinn, if you want to call it that for short. The trade port, the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, you would know this, um, Otho. Yeah. Uh, it is the main, like, this is where there's a road that leads north, and then that's the, that's the town. It's a huge town that splits off in, like, five different directions right from the middle of the country. It is <clears throat> the central trading hub for merchants and travelers who are intending to go through Alton. Yes, we were just in Quinkunsk, and we made our way north. We hit the little hamlet of, oh, what was it called? It was so cute. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. We just passed through. It's not that big. Nothing I really remember of it. It's mostly just farms. Uh, and then we went through the uh, Divine Garrison, I think, or what was it called? The Garrison of Divinity? It had some weird name to it. Oh, Fort Divinity. It was Fort Divinity. Ah. Uh, any news out of Matarallo? Any Anything we should know going in? When's the last time you were there? <sighs> it's been a while. About a year, I'd have to say. Oh, that is quite a while. Um, well... Gosh, there's rumors of a uh, a yellow dragon attacking the western shores. Apparently, Kutchner's Cove was attacked. A a yellow dragon, not yeah. an old one. No. Can't quite say I've ever heard of a yellow dragon before. Neither have I. The ocean lords are convinced it's just some weird, you know. Strange happenstance, some sort of trick of the eye, but who's to say? Hmm. Um, they're both behind a counter, correct? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, Milo's going to tippy-toe up, uh, grab one of his five very colorful candles, and just kind of plop it up on there, uh, up on the... Um... <laughs> I can't words tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just... just uh, uh... Monty, please help me. My brain is falling apart. On the counter? You, you counter, the thank counter. you. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, Miss Ivory, um, this is for you. Uh, y you and Ebony. Let's say oh. uh, it's a candle from uh, an Oran temple. Well, uh, I, thank you. That's very sweet. I pray he uh, keeps you safe and guides you with his holy light. Oh, he's so cute. And <laughs> like Ebony kind of looks at him and goes, he's pretty cute. He just does a big freaking Steven Universe grin. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I want, I want to give him something. He's just so cute. And you watch as she kind of goes and disappears. Man. She comes back and she goes, I'm going to give this to you. And she gives you like a little brown parcel, maybe like two inches by one inch. About maybe one inch thick, like a square. And she hands that to you. Uh, is it okay to open it? Yeah. I just figured you're in a place full of dead things, so it might be useful. Uh, I will very gingerly and carefully without ripping, ripping too much open it. All right. You open it. It's a bar of oatmeal soap. Ooh. I'm fine with that. Huh? It weighs nothing. Oh, Excellent. Thank you. I, out in the world, it's hard to tell when you're going to get your next, uh, bath in. So thank <laughs> you. Well, if that's all you guys have, I think we're probably going to head out. Right, Ebony? Yes, that would be very wise at this point. Well, safe travels to you then. Safe travels to you as well. <laughs> oh, um, also, you've been gone for a year from Martorallo, yes? Around a year, yes. 
the Ash Plague is also carved through Martorallo. Oh, but it seems that the Ash Plague's curse is not manifested on land, but rather at sea. Apparently, the bodies of the drowned are coming back to shore, so just keep that in mind. So I fucking see. call it. <laughs> yeah! uh, has, uh, speaking of the sea, has there been any shifting of the powers with the ocean lords at all? Not that we know of, no. We mostly deal with the one, um, Coleco. That's our one we mostly have to deal with. Ah, but I see. He's... That bastard is going to die, never. He's got too much spite in him. But, that being <laughs> said, no, there hasn't been. I feel like if it has happened, it's been well hidden, but we have not heard anything, now. I see. Well, thank you for the information and for your goods. <laughs> Anytime. All right, let's go. Hey, and he watches a shoot, hey, close up the door. Yep. Real quick, I'm just going to buy 20 rations real quick. Someone work on it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got just, it. Right off the gold. It's six gold each. Or sorry, not six gold. Yeah. Oh my god, six silver each. So write that off. It would be twelve gold yeah. for twenty. Twelve gold, exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to so, apply the weight as well. Uh well, ten of them are going to you, Connor. Oh, thank you. All right. Now I've got plenty. All righty. And you watch as the lizards immediately they kind of ebony makes her way back out and sits down on the on the jockey seat and then unties and goes whoa and you watch as the lizards are just like licking their eyeballs turn and looking at me they start scrambling forward kind of kicking up some dirt as they eventually get sort of a velocity of sorts and kind of take off across the hill just wave as they go off the yeah guys turns to otho who are the ocean lords which one's the best one <laughs> well, the Ocean Lords are the ruling powers in Moderato. They're sort of like a council, I guess you could say. Each of them oversees a uh, different aspect of the... of running the port. How many are there? Uh, there is about, sorry, this is my brain counting. There's Oslamir Harland, man we need to go see. Vicarch the Violet. Colico of the Coin Beaches. Winona Odez. Captain Brutus Valentinian. And Admiral Grusbund Tipperbottom. So, six. Guys, his mouth is wide open, just like, oh man. <laughs> you should like, hug about that. Hugging the book to his chest, like, oh man. <laughs> well, I should think so. Moderalo is my home. Oh. So you guys are from Moderalo then? Yes. Oh. Well, that should be easy to make my map then. I can't ready. I can't wait to impress a sea captain, and I've never seen the ocean before. I think the captain will have his hands full, especially with the undead. Apparently, that are uh, no, but I, I know mean, some excellent zombie killers. And on the bright side, that means that the roads will probably be clear. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Something we should know about. Lynn did mention that there were bandits on the roads. Well, okay, yes, but not zombies. I'd say that's worse. <laughs> the zombies we can deal with. I guess you guys have had more experience with zombies than I have. I mean, when's the last time one of the undead around here has lied to us or spoke in the first place? With the zombies, you know what you're in for. You know exactly what they're going to do. Bandits, though? You never know. Precisely. 
is it bad of me to be on the side of optimistic and say that this all just sounds like gainful employment? He, um, he uh, Milo kind of pats your arm because he can't reach your shoulder. I'd say a good healthy dose of optimism is exactly what we need right now. Ooh, I can't wait. Why we make a name for myself somewhere? Well, looks like we gotta get up through the forest first. The guy is like 35 feet ahead of you guys. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> what time of day is it, Monty? Uh, at this point, you guys are kind of in the afternoon, and that mm. was your event for the day, so you guys, nothing else happens. You guys make a lovely camp. Yeah. Uh, have uh, your rations as well. Otho will look over at Kai just to sort of gauge his expression. Uh, he's got his head buried in a book. Uh, you would know that he's clearly doing that to avoid the conversation with the added benefit of studying. He'll just sort of scoot over and look at what he's reading. Uh, it's the Book of Cantrips. Required reading. Well, it'd be a terrible shame to let all this go to waste. Like I said, I think I can help Iskin when we finally settle down and aren't accosted by zombies. Right, of course. Are you guys talking quietly or just out nope? Loud? Uh, you can hear everything in between between Iskin. <laughs> uh, well, hearing his name, uh, Iskin will kind of perk up. Wait, what? Help me with what? Oh, your uh, your magic. Uh. There's something in your book that can help me? Uh, kind of. Uh, it, more of a theory. You're just going to have to go with me on it. Uh, when we settle down for the night, I can show you if you want. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Okay, time to get my pointy hat on. Good as of a place to stop and camp for the night on the edge of the woods before going right into it. Just because right. you have better, you know, you can see things a bit better. All right, well, if we're going to camp here, then I'm going to take Iskan off to the side to go practice. And I never came back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monty, you said we're on the edge of the forest, right? You are, yes. Uh, can we find a place to practice that's at least near some trees or some foliage oh, or stuff like very that? very easily, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, Kai is going to open the book and flip through a couple of the pages. Uh, and he's going to point out one page in particular. And if you take a look at it, you will notice the cantrip prestidigitation. Okay, what, is, what does that mean? Well, so I, I've, I've heard of this one before. I've been looking at it. Uh, it's an extremely useful cantrip uh, for a lot of different casters. But my thought was, I think you can cast this. Really? Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of the okay. effects that you could do with it have like a okay forgive me if this sounds weird like a kind of a naturey theme like you could do things with fire for example or warm stuff up or you know create illusions but i think you might have an affinity for some of that stuff so i thought you could give it a try okay well what do i have to do okay so Let's try something easy. Uh, I want you to picture something in your hand. He kind of holds out his hand and he's staring at it for a while. Just try to like picture something there. Okay, like what? Uh, I don't know, like a trinket or a ball of, of like a, a baby star. He kind of wrinkles his brow a little bit and is concentrating on his hand. What now? Uh, let's see. I just not mention that. Uh, we should see it appear. Illusionarily, at least. He kind of really scrunches up and you can see his whole body tense up. Uh, and then, uh, Monty, I would like to cast Druidcraft. 
Okay. Uh, in particular, uh, the uh, small ball predicting what the weather will be like at this location for the next 24 hours. Alrighty, you flex your hand and almost like a bubble grows from the palm of your hand and kind of spins, almost suspended between your fingers. And it begins to fill in with sort of a swirling mist. Uh, Whoa, you, you did it! Is that what it's supposed to look like? I mean, I mean, it's whatever you wanted it to be. That's really cool. I was just thinking uh, of a ball, but why is it all misty I, that, like that, that? That is a ball. I, well, it's illusionary, and I'm going to try to pass my hand through the ball. Yeah, your hand just whoosh, passes in and out of it. See, it's, it's, it's an illusion. It's not actually there. Okay. Well, does it do anything? Was it? I, well, does it? Feel, it feel like it could do something it really it's just supposed to be there uh why do you get the the sense you could do something with it what is it what does it feel like monty you don't feel anything i don't really feel anything okay well i mean that's a good start it's it's supposed to create a an illusion and it, it it's typically about the size of your hand so that was perfect Okay. Uh, okay, here's another thing. You could do uh, very basic sensory effects with prestidigitation. So why don't you try to, like, push your hand towards me and just do, like, a puff of wind or something like that? Um, I will do that. Uh, and once again, using Druidcraft, I will uh, attempt to create a puff of wind. All right. You, and Kai, your hair gets flown back. As the wind kind of <laughs> runs over your face. It's not enough to like... King, you're a natural! This is so weird. Like I've been studying this for three days and you did it in three seconds. You're amazing! Well, why don't you try it then? I've been trying. What do you think I do when you guys are on watch? <clears throat> but I'm totally try also now. sleeping. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to create. Oh, the wind thing. All right. I guess I'll push the floppy ears on your head. Uh, all right. All right. Focus. Focus. And push. And he's going to try to cast a sensory wind effect on his ears. Okay. Roll an intelligence check. Uh, let's see. Uh, In Wimdy. <laughs> In fucking The 21. Damn. All right. You feel a little bit of wind on your face. I, I felt it. Don't, don't. Was it the wind or was it that? W was it what? Like I actually, you actually felt it? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you did it. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me see. Uh, wait. But then I, I should be able to make the ball like you did, right? The 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 misty ball. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Okay, all right, uh, all right, uh, focus, ball, mist. And he's going to attempt to create an illusionary ball of mist, much like what Eskin cast. Okay. You... Another inchank, or does that carry over? Go, yeah, do an inchank. Uh, that's a <laughs> seven. <laughs> Okay, you kind of focus on the orb, and then suddenly sparks come out of the, the kind of the palm of your hand, like almost like little okay. fireworks. You kind of clasp, and it goes away. That was weird. That was a mis Okay. Huh. That was a little different, but that was that awesome. Was, that was very different, but it was progress. Yeah. I've never done that before. He kind of like clasps your shoulder with his hand. That was really cool. And... <laughs> Like yeah. it didn't it didn't drain me this time. Well like I feel yeah. fine. Well that that's new. Do you, is it because you were focused or wanted it, maybe? I I don't know, maybe. He kind of like scratches the back of his head um and sort of bumps his hand against uh the staff that he has and sort of like lo looks over his shoulder and grabs the staff and pulls it out. You think maybe this has something to do with it? Uh, Mira's staff? I mean, 
maybe she was a druid, so maybe that's like a focus. A lot of casters use that to basically hone their skills and not have to use as many resources. Yeah, I so think maybe that Pointy had said something about that, right? Yeah, so maybe that's a focus for you, something to concentrate your energy through or steady you. Huh. Wow. Hey, seriously. Thanks a lot. This is This is really helpful. <laughs> I mean, I just I I kind of saw you confused and frustrated with it all and I can kind of relate, so I wanted to try to help. We should we should practice together more. I I would be super down with that. <laughs> cool. By the way, how did you do the like knife thing? Oh, uh, I don't know. That one's always just sort of been, <laughs> I guess when I'm really anxious or scared, I kind of just, you know, focus on what I'm afraid of, put my hand out like this, and he puts his hand out, and I just sort of focus on what I'm afraid of, and he sort of points it in the direction of a tree, uh, and I'll cast Ice Knife at the tree. Okay. It's a twenty-four to hit. Absolutely. Hits. <laughs> and if it's a matters, it's a tree, it can't dodge. If damage <laughs> matters, it takes four piercing and four cold damage. You gore the tree right in the middle. It goes through one end and out the other. Does it wow. leave like any kind of like scarring of like ice? Oh there's, yeah, like, a giant it, hole in it. Yeah, there's a giant hole in it, and there's ice now around the nearby bushes as well. Ah. Uh. Wow. Kai's going to run over and kind of, like, touch the, the ice. I can't really ever control how strong it is, though. I, I, that, that's pretty impressive, though. I mean, it not only cut through the tree, but the, the, the frost residue. It's, it's, like, it's like a knife with a cold spell on it. Yeah, I guess. I never thought about it like a knife. And did that make you feel tired right now? He kind of takes a moment to, like, sort of check in with himself. Not really, no. So maybe it is the staff. I mean, ever since you got it, you've been able to f use more of your magic, right? And you haven't passed out or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Wow, how did I not know about this before? Uh, because we were never taught this stuff. I mean, especially because your magic seems to be innate to you. You just kind of feel it. it. Unless you know somebody like that, there's not really a way for you to learn other than just figuring it out on your own. It's not the same as reading it in a book. Well, but you read it in a book and you figured it out. Uh, well, figured... Okay. Ah, oh, shucks. Um, oh, I'm figuring it out, but... Basically, what I'm saying is it seems like the way that we approach this is just like yours is instinctual and mine is academic, if that makes any sense. Okay, so what? We got to get you more books? Uh, okay, you're speaking my language now, so yes. More books would be amazing. Although I have a lot to work on with just this one because, uh, as you can see, I'm struggling with the most basic forms of it. All right, well, let's, we'll keep practicing and we'll find you more books. Right, but for now, we should probably get some sleep. Oh, yeah. Not that I'll be able to sleep with all this stuff because I'm probably going to read these books for the next couple hours, but I'm going to try to sleep. Uh, sorry, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go study. Uh, practice again next stop. Yeah, and thanks again. No, thank you. Are you kidding me? This could be awesome. And Kai's going to go study for the night. Meanwhile, Seven. Milo's in the corner spamming light over and over again. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if this will take too much time, but I was if anyone wanted to follow up on a role play moment with Gaius now that I have the book, but I don't know if we have time for it. Uh, I see you have some time for it. Yeah. You guys OK if we go just a little bit over today? I don't think we're going to. Yeah, sure. Or, or do no, you guys fine. have to like bail? I'm cool with it. No, I'm no, cool with fine. it. No, I'm good. Another two hours. Uh, yeah. Well, there's. <laughs> <You're right. laughs>
There's two people who were not involved. In I was gonna say, yeah, it should be Milo or Otho if you wanted to talk. Milo to him and Otho is who you got, yeah. Yeah, well, either the, either the both of you are just like now watching like Gaius is fucking scribbling like like a madman, but with a giant like smile on his face, just like he's already two pages in. How dark is it getting? Uh, it's getting like it's probably like dusk at this point, like maybe seven eight p.m. But it's the spring, so there's a little bit more light. Milo's gonna get behind you. You're gonna you're gonna hear his tiny footsteps, uh, and then you're gonna see a, a bit of a bright light coming from behind you. As uh, he's gonna cast light on his emblem to give you a little extra right and light. What? Oh well. Oh, thank you. I should be almost done with this anyway. At least for the time being. I have a lot to catch up on. Oh, it's fine. Take your time. Thought I'd just come be helpful. It apparently, helpful. I was. Apparently, I wasn't good. Apparently, I wasn't going to be very helpful with the uh, magic demonstration, so that's eh, fine. Well, for what it's worth, it's very impressive that you have it all together. It's something my grandmother and my sister could do, but it's not anything I could do. Actually, now that I think about it, do you have any, like, bob bits or baubles that are uh, hanging about you? Any jewelry? Any? I'm looking for some. I'm looking for for something I can cast light directly on you, so I don't have to like angle my, my arm already. I got my. Uh, um, I'm trying to look back at my stuff real quick. Oh yeah, I do actually. Uh, there, there actually is something within like the neck of a uh, like in the bandage. Like there's something nestled within the bandage around Gaius's neck, but it has like really like made any like sort of like physical appearance but it does make like a little like lump so it's like you see something hanging there it, it looks like it's some kind of necklace uh may i and he's, he's just gonna gesture a finger to it Gaius like looks like pats himself and then like feels it oh that's bright i had this this whole time and he uh he pulls out a uh <laughs> He, he, he like kind of like unravels the bit around his neck and it's now it's like a little metal bar that has a tiny horn uh, mm. attached to it like a little nub like probably like the size of a thumb and he like holds it up to you. Uh, I'm going to boop it and now you're going to have a nice little reading light strapped to your neck. <laughs> oh, there see, you go. Help. Well, see, you're helpful already. He goes right back into writing. Like, he's there, he's, like, tails wagging, fucking, like, there's, like, a hop in, in his, like, fucking seat when he's, like, sitting there just writing stuff. He's kind of, like, fidgeting as he writes. You're writing in Giant too, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, Gaius is not writing in Common. It, it is all in Giant, or at least a language you wouldn't know. It's runes, yeah. I, uh, I assume you're regaling all the things that we've gone through thus far. worthwhile stuff yes uh, at least something to embolden the odyssey if nothing to give it some kind of a little bit of a pizzazz or flavor i hope there's enough pages in that book for everything that we're about to do well my hoping is is that by the time i get to the end of this book i'll have made enough money to at least promise what i'm going to put in here and then some and then i can buy another book that's fair. So long. Uh, this is just a start. Almost like a journal, but, you know, a little bit more fantasy to it. So, uh, if you could do something for me, because I'm, I'm just curious. What's in, that? In, in, in that language, what, uh, they're runes, right? Yes. So, what's the rune for Sun? Uh... Gaius actually like flips to all the way to the back to the Hold last. On, I might I might actually have that on. Oh record. tip. <laughs> yeah. Oh oh well, I was gonna say like before I before you gave the answer, I was gonna say he was gonna flip to the back of the page, draw a picture of a sun, and then put the rune in the middle of it. There actually might be a word. Uh. Nope. There is not a word. So that is up to you. Neat. I have a giant dictionary for a character. So that's well, here's oh, the that's fun fact good. about that: is that giant in script is dwarvish. 
Mm-hmm. So... They share the same script. Yep, they share the same script. So, basically, guy, unless you know Dwarvish, guys, writes a Dwarvish son. I'm not sure I can read that either, but, um... I'll try to remember it. Yeah, if, uh... If you had some capability in understanding dwarf, uh, Dwarven, it'd be in the same boat. I didn't know too many Dwarves in my time. A couple to the south, but heard something happened. Oh, that's a little something I picked up from my father, at least from his point of view. Alright, that's that's fair. Well, uh, don't let me stop you. I, I just can't oh, see trust what me. You're doing. I grab him by the shirt and I pull him close. You wouldn't be able to. A bead of sweat goes down his forehead a bit. All right, all right, I, I understand. <laughs> like to imagine, Milo goes back to stirring whatever food you're making. Yeah. By the way, the rations given to you by Ebony and Ivory are like really nice lentils mm -hmm. and like dried dried vegetables and dried fruits and things like that. Meat, obviously. Oh boy, I want to make a stew. Yeah, you just really good stew and soup material for sure. But as you guys sit down and eat a hearty meal, set up your watch for the night. Nothing encroaches upon you. And dawn approaches the following day. You guys um, take out into the woods, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, yep. Because now there's possible big threats, uh, I will give myself and I will give Gaius two temp HP for Chef. <laughs> awesome. Uh, one little side note I'd like to actually say. Uh, the stuff that Gaius is writing... I plan to make something out of it for, for our it. Discord. Oh, sick. Okay, go for, go for it. Yep, ba basically ARG for the Discord. Oh, boy. Arg. Arg. <laughs> so as you guys He's enter in the up. forest, your eyes unfortunately do not encroach upon the nearby area because you're in the woods. There's, you can't see beyond trees, unfortunately. Curses. What if yeah. I use the Sword of Omens? No, you don't have it, so no. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to need someone to roll for me a d100, please. Have we all done it? We have. Uh, we've all done it at least once. I shall right. do it. Do it. 25. 25. Okay. Another day of travel unabated. Oh, jeez. Ah, the darkness. <gasps> There's guys. Ah! <laughs> I need one more roll. Is that what it looks like? I'll do it. Do it. Oh, go ahead. Sixty-three. As you guys, you guys make your way through the woods. It's weird. Just being in a forest where there's absolutely no wind whatsoever just makes the trees look like stage props, and they never move. You don't even hear them at all. Like there's no groaning of the trees. There's no rustling of leaves. It is just still. No bird song. No sounds of snapping twigs in the distance. It is just a silent shroud. And eventually you breach out. And you do reveal more because you're no longer technically in the forest. Yay. Oh, all right. Uh, off to your left, as you exit out of the woods, you see the derelict and abandoned, almost like castle or like, it's up on sort of a of an incline. Um, and you notice at a far distance, without needing any checks, that headless bird currently perched on top of one of the towers. Uh -oh. oh. And you watch as it takes off and flies, and you see another one, and another one, and another one. And it seems to be where they come to roost. You are oh. very far away, and they don't seem to, I mean, they have no fucking heads, so they can't really make <laughs> notice of you. Well, nuts to checking that place out. <laughs> yeah. uh, on his map, Iskan just draws a square for the castle mm -hmm. with a giant X over it that just says, don't go Just here. no. Just speak no. <laughs> Weird birds. Right. And with that, another night. The following day, you guys reach the breach of the wall. The large curtain of fog greets you once again you all stand look, before it I look over at Kai and I, I whisper in his ear I assume you're wanting to be low key 
Uh, he will answer you by pulling up the blue bandana up over his nose. All right. And uh, Otho will shrug out of his doublet so that he is just in his uh, just in his gray tunic, uh, and he will muss up his hair so that a lot of it is in his face. Um. Yeah. Milo's gonna look at both of you and just say, "What are you two doing?" Getting ready to walk through a bunch of ghost hands. <clears throat> Can yeah, I not... insight that? If you'd like. Okay, just wanted to ask. Natural 20? <laughs> <laughs> he's very obviously doing more than just walking through some ghost hands, but he's being very skirting Active. around the edge of the truth. <laughs> and Otho right. seems like he's playing along. All right, what's really going on here? If I wanted to tell you, don't you think I would have already? Yeah, well, we're traveling together, and you two look like you want to have a low profile. What's going on? We want to have a low profile. Why? I, I look at I look at Milo, then back to Kai. Linger on Kai for a bit, just like... <sighs> Let's just say there's... There's people in Matarala we don't exactly want knowing that we are back. I won't pray, but I do want to ask one question. Are you That's two prying. wanting? Are you two no. want? Are you hooked? Okay. There we go. No. Okay, no, that's all. Not. That's all I wanted to know. We just need to know exactly what we're getting into. <sighs> Can we give you two different aliases? It's not a bad idea. You can be Greg, and you can be Scrungo. Did you point at all when you said that? Yes, you just... I did. <laughs> who did you point at for who did you point at for Greg? Well, and who did you point Otho at for to Scrungo? Greg, and then Kai to Scrungo. Okay. Well, Scrungo, are you ready to get going? Are we actually doing this? No, but Wait, it's funny. Do the rest of us have different names too? Yes, you can be Wiggles. Uh... <laughs> That's kind of insulting. I don't. I don't think you. That'll be necessary for you all. Just also, wouldn't it be Mister Wigglesworth? <laughs> East can kind of. One of his eyes twitches in your direction, and it almost looks hurt. It's, it's okay. No. I would have. I would have no. given myself. No, sorry, that was a joke. Because he always calls you Mister. All right, I won't do it. It's it's okay because I was gonna give myself the most boring human name I've ever heard in my entire life, Nathan. I thought that was Craig. They're both equally bad. I've never heard of that last one. <laughs> Shout out to our Nathans and Craig's in the audience. We, yeah, we like you. Guys. So we like you. Uh, and the we do of, like you. Guys, Agni of, does not know anything about human culture. The words, the words of Christopher Zito and, and Mark Allen Jr. do not reflect Wait, the Wait, don't you me under the bus. I didn't say shit. Hey, hey everyone, Chris Zito, don't mind what Mark said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's guided. I'm sorry. I, I was the one who said it, Monty. Please. <laughs> listen, listen. Milo, my, Mr. Milo Brightbeam does not represent me. No, that's true. I just play him as an idiot. <laughs> All right. Are you guys going through the gassiest wall or what? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Shield. Fuzzy and get dizzy. Shield yeah. up, yeah. light on. As you guys each hold hands and make your way through. Unlike the previous time, nothing tries to hold you back and you make your way through the same creepy whispers encroaching into your mind. Come back your ass. Kind of like coming in and out. And as you breach over the other sides, you see before you no trees whatsoever and the rolling hills of Martorallo. Well, that wasn't so bad. New map. There is no new map because it's being worked on because oh. Bracky was dying and he needed to not die. So Don't die, Bracky. Yeah, Bracky's a hard worker and I also got my shit in too late for him. But as you guys stand and kind of take it in, you see... What? Like, sort of, what? Alexa, take out it? the trash, Connor. Alexa, oh, stop. <laughs> stop. It's the fog. Stop. Okay. 
She's not my slave. Okay, Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, mama, you I was gonna go? say the most boring name was Christopher. I think we're good. Alright. <laughs> you guys immediately scan out and you see rolling hills of just like really long green green grass. Uh, you see maybe a, like two or three, no more than two or three birch trees kind of off in the distance. And where the ground is kind of lifted is sort of like white rock with like kind of grass on top of it. And immediately ahead of you, you see a massive white stone garrison with a portcullis that is down up ahead, framed by two large uh, towers complete with, like, arrow notches in the towers themselves. Oh, guys, we made it! Notably, hanging, flapping from one of the towers, or each of them, rather, flapping, uh, is the symbol of what appears to be, like, a red kind of uh, serpent-like drake, uh, but it only has, like, wings on the front and has no legs. It just kind of goes into a tail. Uh, with a sort of anchor behind it. Uh, Otho and Kai roll with uh, history checks for that. Uh, yep. Oh, come on, game. 12. Okay. Eight. Uh, Kai, eh, whatever. Uh, Otho, this you think is the sign of Oslamir Harland, you think? This seems to be his bannerment. <laughs> It's the crest of Oslamir Harland. Well, that's the guy we need to go see, right? That's correct. Oh, so is he here? Mm, I doubt it. I'm sure this is where his influence spreads. Oslamir Harland is the lawmaster of Moderado. He's in charge of the guards, the courts, and the jails. Ah. Is, is this not fortunate for us, then? Should we not just attempt to ask if someone can help us get to the city faster? Uh, if I anyone's think... even there. Is that is that going to be a problem for you, Skrungo? Why, why would that be a problem for me? I, I, I don't know. Because we need to make we're... sure that we're not going somewhere where you two need to be hidden. We'll be great. This is... I'm excited to be here. Damn skippy we are. See? He's got the right idea. Thanks, oh. Gaius. Jesus, I don't even have to roll for insight on that one. <laughs> yeah. Bouncing up and down. I could have the stupidest name imaginable and no one would still know who I am. I love this game. Boy, howdy. Right, so how far is it from here to the to the main city? Well, would I know that? Uh, go ahead and roll a survival check, bucko. Sounds like the Ghostbusters siren. <laughs> uh, ten. Ten. At least a couple weeks. Oh. If not We're ever. going... We're going to be on the road for a while, I think. Ah. All right, think, then. You see think... him unfurl a particularly long piece of paper. <laughs> uh, although, do you think we might be able to hire a carriage at the garrison or something like that? I think the people at the garrison are going to be very suspicious of us after just coming back out from the mists. Did we just say we weren't from the mists? I mean, that's a bit of a hard sail. No, it isn't. We walked the entire way around. I mean, I look, would, we, if we at all possible, I would like to not lie to the people who work for the law master of Moderato. I mean, look, Ebony and Ivory just went by, so it can't be that hard. I suppose not. We should check to see if anybody's even there, I guess. Which the book is contraband and they fucking arrest us. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, you guys approach the garrison? Yeah. Yep. In as unintimidating a way as possible. <laughs> so oh, yeah, so it, every, group charisma check. Go for yeah. it. Yeah, the, the fucking the, the, the lizard folk and the and the satyr kind of just stroll up. Don't be suspicious. Don't <laughs> be suspicious. <laughs> Don't I am suspicious. skipping in the flowers. <laughs> 14. It's nice here. There are flowers. Hmm? I'm not joking. Oh, Everyone roll a charisma check. I was trying to. It didn't want to yeah, roll. Yeah, good lord. Seven. Okay. 14. <laughs> 12. Okay. You guys, walk up to the garrison. You hear a voice up up in one of the portcullises go, Hey! Hello. Hi? You see kind of leaning over. I'm going to roll a d12 for me. Um... Can I? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. Yahoo. Eight. Okay. Uh, you see like an horned. armored, you see like a heavily armored individual, like like buff square paladin man, like leaning over the side going, hey! Hi! Wow. Johnny Dark down, Souls. He fell down the stairs. In the <laughs> <laughs> Are you zombies? No. No, not la no last time I checked. Are you sure? Uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And you're not necromancers, are you? No. Well, I'm actually a man of the cloth. <laughs> oh, so are literally all of us. Hey, Marco. I'm opening up the gate! You hear and you watch as the portcullis begins to open, and you see strolling forward this man. Ooh. Oh, let's go. Oh. Art? art? Art by Matthew draws before I reveal it. Ooh. You see kind of stepping out with a swagger, uh, a man kind of stepping forward, uh, seems to be folding up a book and kind of placing it to his side, running his hands through his hair, you see this man. Oh, hot damn. Oh. You watch as this man kind of strides forward and kind of takes a collection of you, kind of cocks his head and he goes, no carriage, no cart. Coming through Eastonvale. You're not smugglers, are you? No. We, we, we uh, also... Really Monty, could you describe this man? I can, yeah. You see a very tall, he's he's probably like six, six foot four. He's very tall, very lean <laughs> man height. wearing cool. kind of black leather robes and like kind of black leather pants with these really nice boots. Um, hair that's kind of like black, but has like a bit of white in the front. And around his face is sort of like, it almost looks like scarring, like scarring around like kind of the bridge of the nose. Gold emblems, uh, strides forward, this man... Uh, also, very stunning eyes as well. He kind of approaches forward and goes, Well, huh. it's not too often we get uh, we get visit here at, visitors here at Fort Divinity. Uh, my name is Marco Ross. I'm the uh, current, I guess, person in charge. Oh, nice meet you. Uh, Glaze Brightbeam. Uh, mind the cloth of the... Uh... Orin Temples. Oh, we also have an Orin worshiper here with us. Oh. <laughs> it's, 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 it's her mouth open. Sunbeams from the sky. <laughs> well, I think it might be time for us to boil some tea and make pleasantries. It's been a while since we've had some visitors. And that's, that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. That sounds amazing! Hey! hey. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You guys will start up at Fort Divinity. Bye, now Austin. In the country of Martorallo. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Oh. Martorallo, where the wind goes sweeping down the plain. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go with the plains and very few trees. <laughs> Martorallo. Episode Sanders 8. Sister. I get to talk to pseudo family. Yay. Assuming there are real Orin clergy. Mark, I am tired of your pessimism. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's You've so done. funny because I'm like, I'm not a pessimist. No, you're <laughs> not. That's life. what irritates me. Also, 
Also, I didn't really see a watermark. Uh, who drew this? Uh... This Matthew draws. Matthew draws drew this. Mm. This man was a struggle, by the way. Getting him to look right was real hard because his mm. arms and legs kept wanting to do weird things, but we figured it out eventually. <laughs> Matthew was incredibly patient as well, which I, I thank you, Matthew. Yeah, he, thanks, Matthew. He do a lank. <sighs> he do be a handsome boy. Oh, boy. Dubiously handsome, some you guys are now back in a place that has sunlight and like actual sounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sooner or later, chat. I'll I'll toss in that uh, that that Gaius lore for you at least a short amount of it. You know, all things considered, it was not as treacherous as I expected to get all the way here. I, you guys rolled a lot, of, a lot of random encounters, but a lot of them were either already done or were peaceful ones, which was interesting. I was like, mm, damn. Nice. Yeah, we got no. pretty lucky. Oh, you know, peaceful. Oh, the, like, the pie like was coming out of a the pie. pie. The pie, the pie was, was, God, that pie, the pie was fun. Yeah. I like murder pie. pie. The pie was a hostile encounter, yeah. But who was pie? <laughs> who put the pie there? Yeah. <laughs> we'll pie never know. Who do 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 I don't like this. Just, just a fucking zombie trudging around with a fucking chef's outfit on and a bunch of pies. <laughs> I died as I lived. <laughs> so this truly is a hell's kitchen. <laughs> oh, wow. You break. Wow, good call out. Oh, my lord. Oh. Hey, you said we, we, we might run late. We, we ran on time. Yeah, well, we went 12 minutes over. Like, it was just like, I'm like, we're not going to go like 30 minutes over or 40 minutes. It's just no, See, when, when you say roll over, I'm like half hour at least. Ah, I'm fine. Uh -huh. No, like you can. OK, so I will speak for myself because I'm the early riser, I think, amongst the most of us. Well, actually, um, I've been going to bed pretty normally now as well. All I was saying is that, like, unless it's like a half hour over, you might as well just anticipate that I'm fine with it. Gotcha. I won't bank on it because that feels disrespectful, but. This was episode eight. Episode eight, yeah. You guys Indeed are now on the path to the second orb. You guys are level two, which is really great as well. Yeah. You can see what fun things happen there. You are now in the same area. I will get you guys a map next time. I just had to yeah, give yeah. Brecky more breathing space because he yeah, just, you know, he came out of surgery. I also got the stuff to him late, which is that's on me. That's my fault. <laughs> it's all good. So, yeah. so Zito, yeah. I swear to God, if we're out in like a freaking sloop, I, we have to reenact the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking bone ships, like, oh, man! You're gonna let fucking Gaius be captain? What the fuck is wrong with you, <laughs> Captain? They're coming right for us! <laughs> oh, I'll I'll fucking belt out all the sh uh, sea shanties. You kidding, my dude? Even though Gaius oh. doesn't know any, Gaius really wouldn't know any of them. But I'll just be like, toot toot. I I always say this, but I'm so excited for next week. Oh heck yeah! I am too. I, I anytime like every time we're in like a new country, I'm like, oh let's go, <laughs> let's go, yeah, because it's gonna be new, new stuff. Now say that in card cage. <laughs> no. Oh man, <laughs> we're here and then come to Martyramblo. 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 Where is Martyramblo? To be the spinning of the gate. Would you like a slice of centipede? <laughs> You're no. so freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go travel the lands of Martyramblo with my buddies Greg and Scrungo. <laughs> I want you to know I wrote those down. The, those Why? Your names. I didn't mean any of those. I, no, no. I wrote it down those too, buddy. Greg and now. Scrungo. Yeah, those are their names until they tell me not to use it. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I'm a transcender. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hey, you came up with the idea. I'm just rolling with it. Well. Suppose we should go ahead and uh, do our outros here. Gaijin Goomba, oh, where can they find God, you? I want to play for two to? more hours, dude. Yeah, I, I do too. too. I, I do too. Well, you but stopped this, it. I know. This is a healthy <laughs> place to stop. Uh, you can find me Twitch. Accusatory <laughs> finger. Twitch. He says Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I've been playing 40K games because I have a new addiction. Yay. Um, 
uh neon white yeah i know yeah uh neon white is something that i really want to play because it's oni and card games and fast running and shoots there's no guns zito it's weird it's like the shoot come from card it's very bizarre um <laughs> yeah no it's fine uh other than that uh Sunbreak ha 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 theming uh that's gonna be coming out this weekend i think if not earlier i, I don't know um i'll i'll be all over that i don't have a lot of hype for it but that's probably healthy uh but i am interested so is that that's on pc or is that on the switch both it is they're coming both. out yeah they're coming wow. out simultaneously they're not uh, cross compatible though i'm assuming no. No. no god that'd be so fucking nice yeah wouldn't it <laughs> with cross compatibility yeah. Or Capcom with cross compatibility. Uh, aside from that, I'm working on a brand new uh, cultural video. Uh, it's a bit more personal, which a lot of people seem to like. They seem to do well. Uh, talking about how it's really easy to feel lonely in Japan when you live there, and a couple of things you could do to alleviate that problem. So, that's me. All righty. Uh, Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? And what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. I'm up to a lot of anime dubs. If you like watching anime in English, check my Twitter. I update pretty regularly when new stuff comes out. Big things right now. Fruit of Evolution, a uh, new episode comes out this week. It's going to be a good one. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff coming out. And um, we actually, uh, I can't say that, never mind. But yeah, keep an eye out, Twitter <laughs> stuff. Announcements will be coming up uh, pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, that's it for me right now. All righty. Uh, Zito, where can they find you and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, indie games, modded games. Uh, I'm going to play Sunbreak off stream for a little bit because I have to actually catch up and now I have to double dip. Thanks, Capcom. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> art streams. Uh, talking homebrew stuff. Uh, outside of that, my homebrew stuff at the Ever Ingot Almanac is uh, on hold for the month of July so I can like have a rest period because my birthday is on the 18th. Uh, as for anything else, uh, I will be... Doing, I will be voicing in uh, Zarel's cartoon Monkey Wrench, uh, which is premiering on July 18th, which is actually my birthday. And also, uh, Cobalt 2. Did you like the plush from the last one? Did you like Cobalt 1? Well, guess what? Cobalt 2 is going to be a thing. I'm, po I'm pasting it in chat. Check it out. I made a little shit post for you to find out that Cobalt 2 is going to be a thing. And uh, beyond that, I told you everything. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to doing some funny stuff. Right on. Everbosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Bosco. Time! A little slower than your uh, first one this this evening, so uh, no new record, sorry. It's still, still a pretty good, a PB. Pretty, good, pretty good time. No, that's not a PB. That's pretty, just a pretty good flat time. Mm. Uh, Monty, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow will be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Uh, the player's on level three, and they have to navigate through uh, some, some a dicey situation. I won't spoil it, but um, they are uh, currently five people strong with a mule uh, and are currently caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, and then on Sundays, I've been playing Majora's Mask for the first time. I know of the game, but I haven't yeah. played the game. Uh, and it's pretty good so far. Um, I like it a lot better than Ocarina of Time. I mean, Ocarina of Time is aged a bit, but I, I'm liking mm -hmm. Majora's a lot more. Um, and then... Uh, buh, 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 I'm trying to think of anything else. Mm. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's... Yeah. Um, also, stream is sporadic as I am trying to get my license, and I have some lessons that might take up some time, so I'll keep you guys posted on that, but for the most part... <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for the most part, um, yeah. Keep your keep your eyes posted. God, I want I want next week to be now. Like I'm god, like, fuck. I know. I over prepped. <laughs> I over prepped way too much. 
Oh no. I was like, okay. And then like all the encounters happened and I was like, no, this makes sense. This rides. So it was, it was fine. But, oh man, I just, uh, it's fine. That's it for me. Uh, all right. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, yes. Um, I, I played the Dead House Sonata demo. The, that VOD is over on my Twitch channel and will be uploaded to my YouTube channel soon. Uh, I got to explore, uh, the possible future of what Dead House Sonata might look like. It is a, it is a free alpha tech demo i should mention right now so any any footage used in that is is not reflective of the final product at all but there you go uh also check out my dms guild where the uh the treasure hunter conclave ranger is in the works uh be on the lookout for that sometime in the future um I believe that's it for me. Uh, be sure to check out our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades. Uh, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. Want to roll an encounter where you there's a pie filled with bugs? Use Die Hard Dice. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, God. What pie flavor is dice. it? Spiders and dice. Yay! Uh, and if you use the code UNEXPECTABLES, you can save... Un UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point, sorry. You can save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. Uh, and with that, you gotta go read off some bits and subs. Where do we leave off? Anybody remember? It was a 100-bit drop from... Uh, someone regular. Oh, no. Uh, Magic Ninjago? No. CD Regulus? But no. Then Lita? No. We're not Vaughn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Outsider is always getting lost because the clap of his thick cheeks keeps interfering with his hearing. <laughs> Wolves. He's can never hear got that. Want... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was going to say the wolves hear him from miles away. That's why he's so good at fighting them because he makes just makes them show up. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> no, awesome. Like, no. The clap is his echolocation. All right, keep going. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm, this is some good lore. It's, it's just that scene from Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so uh, terrible. Uh, lobotomy and what is this name? Lobot me and I'll. What? Lobot me and I'll lobot you. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. Wow. I guess. That, 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 that's that's a very <laughs> New Yorkish, like, fuck me, fuck you scenario. Oh my god, I kind of love that. Lobot me? Oh no, lobot -a you. Lobot you. <laughs> What's lobot you? Small bun, thank you for the 11 bits. I never thought pie would be ruined here, of all places. <laughs> it wasn't ruined. It was you just say it was flavored. Unexpected. The protein pie. <laughs> meat pie, but just with, you know. Meat pie. Yeah, meat clown. The future of meat pie. Testarossa Dragon, thank you for the 32 bits. Mark, you have a wonderful laugh. Aw. Thank you. Mm. Genuinely. Oz195, thank you for the... 10 bits. No dog food for Gaius tonight. <laughs> no dog food for Gaius tonight. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the one, uh, the 11 months. Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 50 bits. The two magic boys figuring out magic is simply adorable. Revengerist, thank you for the 19 months of Prime subage. More Thrandor, thank you for the uh, gifting a tier one sub to Helena Real. Holy shit, she's real. <gasps> uh, Zinlita, thank you for the 100 bits uh, episode title, Conspiracy. 
<laughs> Someone had one that was Devil May Pie, and I kind of love it. Oh my god, <laughs> mm, that's a good one. That's really Ellie really Kit, yeah. thank you for the 100 bits title suggestion. Pie. Dusty Bone, thank you for the 50 bits. Glad I could watch this live because now I can pitch a title. So here it is. Not all snails are pies. Man. I can't wait to hang out with Shay on the weekend and for her to get mad at me about the snail thing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone made a meme about that already. Of Good. course they did. Oh god. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna post it in general. I am a feared. While that's happening, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. I'm plotting my first campaign in a homebrew world that I'm making. It's a seafaring theme where the party is exploring an archipelago. Hmm. Mm. Actually, mm. I'm actually. You running, don't say. I was, I was running that, but uh, for my like IRL, I have a giant ship, and I, I I have to use it. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to get together to play it. But yeah, it's fun. Ship campaigns are real fun. Yeah, I love ship battles. Smell, yeah. Um, dee -dee -dee -dee. um, where was I? Uh, uh Stellar Ocean Coyote. Homebrew. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Monty sees Matt Mercer prepare for 50 to go. It's good, sir. I'm having at you. <laughs> Again, Matthew Mercer would punch me and I'd just break into glass and shatter on the ground. <laughs> uh, Protoss 103, thank you for the five bits. Fell asleep a couple of times, have no idea what happened. All I remember is pie. Have a good night, everyone. That's all uh, there Black was. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 88 bits. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. It takes a large breath. <gasps> Die hard dice. <laughs> Die hard dice. <laughs> That's right. We know them. And fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the fifty bits. Trying to eat the trying to eat during the pie fight was a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh. Uh, right. you fool, perish. Well, there we have it. There we have it. That's that's all of them. Oh man, that was a fun session, guys. That was, was a fun session. It was very fun. I have a, uh, I have a couple of folks we can send people off to. I have Paper Box House, who's playing. Ball I was about guys. to suggest that as well. Yeah. Playing ball yeah. guys. I love, I love Alfred. He's good people. Do you, want to, do you want to send people to to Alfred? Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what what uh, what should our raid message be? Mala pie. It has to be something pie related. Pie. Okay, pie. <laughs> pie. pie. Dude, pie time, like I pie? guess. Oh yeah, pie. this is pie time. This is pie time, dude. Oh yeah, this is pie time. You have to use alliteration, whatever no, you say. No, no, guys, guys, don't think small. Use the fucking actual numeral equation. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Spam the numeral equation. Three point one four. Three point one four. 